Hello everyone, uh, so, I did say I was going to do this question and answer thing, and I suppose I'd better do the, uh, well, answer part of that, otherwise it wouldn't just be questions and that would be weird. So, I will start by going to the bottom and working up, because, uh, that's how I can do it. Uh, the format will be, I'll read the name and then read the question, I guess, because that way it doesn't get confusing, so, <clears throat> Okay, the first ones are directly underneath the shared on Google Plus thing, but, uh, MacGuffin asks, how hyped are you for Soma? Uh, not very, actually, um, Machine for Pigs kind of murdered my, uh, my frictional games boner. Even though that wasn't them, it was still their franchise, and I thought a bit meh. Uh, maybe Soma will rehype me once I s play it. I don't know. Maybe. I I'm certainly going to play it. I'm certainly going to LP it because, well, pff, I guess that should be the right thing to do. But hey, uh, Hannah asks, uh, boxes or briefs? Uh, boxes, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> More comfy. Uh, slash the cupcake. Can we see Lady Kiko in the dress to regain our sanity? Of course. Mm, I don't know. I think Lady Kiko is more of a murdering trouser-wearing kind of girl, but, you know. Wilking asks, uh, ever considered playing through Resident Evil 4? Uh, well, I've played it through many times, myself. LPing it? No, probably not, honestly. Um, I've played it too many times, and it's just... There's so many... Uh, I don't know, honestly. No, probably, is the answer. Uh, Dragon Rider, what are your favourite video game soundtracks? They're not from a horror game. Well, Nier, uh, being one of them, honestly. Bayonetta, another. Dragon Guard. Capcom vs. SNK2 has a really good soundtrack. Um, many more I can't think of. The Tales of games usually have good soundtracks as well. Um, lots and lots and lots is the, the, the quick answer. Um, but hard to narrow it down, but certainly near being one of my favourites. Any plans to do a Demon Souls Let's Play? No, none currently. Maybe I'll change that in the future, but certainly not right now. What's in my wallet, says Evan Yagi. Uh, Nagi, even. Um, <laughs> not a lot, honestly, because I just bought takeout, so Zippo, <laughs> unfortunately. Hot Frog, what has been your most fulfilling thing about Let's Playing? And what is the best and worst games that you've played? Ugh, okay, so most fulfilling thing, uh, probably the fan interaction. It's really good fun. I, especially doing things like this, in fact. This very thing I'm doing right now. It's, it's a good laugh. Um, and the best and worst games I've played. Ugh, best being stuff like Bloodborne, Tales of games. Um, but if you mean for LPing purposes, the best has probably been stuff like Amnesia. Uh, Stalker was good fun as well. Uh, the Dark Souls games, because and Blood Bomb, just simply because they're the kind of things I like playing, and the worst being this, some of the indie garbage I've ended up playing, uh, such as Cry of Fear. Um, I think that's mainly the only one, isn't it? Cry of Fear is certainly down there on the low pegging order there. Um, pecking order, rather than pegging order, that sounds kind of lewd. Um, and what else? Uh, it's suffering too, probably, that was pretty poor. Uh, Sobwones. Looks like Sawbones. I had skulls and even though. Hmm. Sub Hell, just wondering, have you played or ever felt playing other tabletop systems? Not really. Uh, I'm not a massive RPer like that. I like Call of Cthulhu because I like Cthulhu. I like the mythos. The rest of it, not so much. Though Rufa is trying to get me to play Burning Wheel. Um, I'm not sure how successful he's being, but it seems interesting. Uh, pure fat guy. What are you going to play next? What, play? Um, probably more Splatoon. Let's play don't know. Maybe Resident Evil uh, Remake. Maybe Resident Evil Revelations. Not entirely sure. Law asks, what's the weirdest things you've seen in the hospital you work in? Uh, most stuff I'm not allowed to talk about. Um, uh, it's a difficult question to answer. I'm not allowed to talk about a lot of stuff. Uh, seeing your first dead body is probably, I suppose, is pretty weird, generally. Like, um, uh, being an IT guy, I don't tend to see that a lot, but when I go around to fix bits, uh, you do occasionally see stuff like that. Um, but I can't really say, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, she's on, put it down there. Patient confidential as important as line of work. There you go. Can't answer that. Thank you. Kirk, uh, you have already inadvertently asked a question of mine a while ago, so instead of thank you for existing. Oh, thank you. Well, that's alright. Um, hey, Halloween, a couple of questions from Madman1896. I have a copy of Killing Floor 2 on Steam with your name on it. Are you interested? Someone's already actually gifted it to me, but thank you very much. Um, loving the Bloodborne stuff. Um, what's your favourite Souls game so far? Ooh, Dark Souls 1, probably still up there. So, if we're counting Bloodborne in that, maybe Bloodborne. It might have overtaken it. I don't know. Very difficult choice. Certainly even between Bloodborne and Dark Souls, if I had to make a choice. Which wasn't really a choice. It was a complete flake out. Sorry. Nightmare Dude 456. What do you do with your vacation time? Do you just play video games without recording anything? Or do you actually go somewhere? Um, I go places. I, I play video games. I hang out with my friends. I do what normal people do, honestly. Um, most recently, my vacation time, I went to Alton Towers with um, my girlfriend. So, yeah. That, that's what I was doing. Miss Brock, how is your life? Are you going to do more cooking tutorials? Uh, I'd like to, but I'm terrible at it. <laughs> um, my cooking skills are pretty poor. I mean, I can feed myself so I don't die, but uh, maybe, maybe. Um, Jay Westbrook, 
Favourite boss from Dark Souls? Uh, most hated boss? Favourite weapon? Uh, lots and lots and lots of questions there. I'll just do a couple. My favourite boss from Dark Souls? Mm, let's think. That's a, that's a difficult one, truthfully. Artorius, if I had to make a choice. From the DLC of Dark Souls 1. Really, really fun. As for the favourite weapon? Uh, if this counts as the weapon, I like the Pyromancy in Dark Souls 1. Really enjoyed it. Lots of big bangs and flamey whooshes and stuff. Very, very good. Um... Nightmare Dude, again, asks, what game are you looking forward to in 2015? Uh, it was The Witcher 3, uh, currently, and I'm enjoying that a lot. That's been good fun. As, as it stands, not much else at the moment. Uh, I don't know what's on the horizon. I haven't really paid much attention. Probably the new Tales game, Tales of Zesteria. I'm uh, looking forward to that. That should be quite good. Uh, Iron Phoenix asks, what keeps you motivated to do LPs? Uh... Mm, I don't know. I just find them fun. I, I enjoy recording them. I enjoy interacting with you guys. I just generally potting around, really. I mean, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm getting on a bit from when I first started. I mean, I I started this, what, six, seven years ago. And I'm still doing it, amazingly. I don't know. It's just, it's just one of those things. It's almost like a habit now. I Just a habit I really enjoy. I mean, why does anyone ever do hobbies? Normally because they enjoy them, I suppose. Uh, Nightmare Dude again. Any new Ranga to read? Berserk was great and Prison School is amazing. Yes, Prison School is amazing. It's very funny. Um, uh, yes, a new one for you to read then. Uh, it's called Gamblefish. Uh, I won't say much except that uh, there's a scene where President Obama is is, uh, <laughs> is having a gambling match against the devil, basically. You, that's all I need to say. Just go have a look at it. It's fantastic. Uh, Salamis Dragoon. I was wondering if you ever heard of Dead Space Extraction. I have. Uh, I haven't played it, though I've heard it's very good. I have, however, played the uh, Android phone Dead Space game, which wasn't actually half bad. A bit basic, as you'd imagine, but it was good fun. Steve Jones. Hello, Steve. A long-time viewer, you are. Um, whilst you never asked for financial support, it's amazing to see so many people support you on Patreon. How does it feel to have such amazing support, and how has Patreon helped you on your channel? Uh, it's... I mean, it renders me speechless, basically. It's amazing that uh, anyone who ever supports me, be it through games, donations, or Patreon... Um, I'm just eternally grateful, is all I can say. Your support, even just for viewership, is more than enough. But the fact that people feel the need to... Uh, or, well, the need, the... Uh, like to donate and stuff through that, it's, it's wonderful. It really is. And I can, I can never say thank you enough, really. And how has it helped? God, it's saved my ass about three or four times already since I've started the Patreon. PC keeps blowing up, so it keeps getting new PC bits. Uh, my, I had to get a new HD capture card. Had to get a new hard drive because the hard drive failed. You know, among other things, um, those are the main things I've used the Patreon for so far. Um, like I said in the Patreon thing, I'm only ever going to use it for LP-related things, so um, that's what I've used it for. In that case, um, thank you again, and thank you Steve particularly. I know you you are on the Patreon as well, so thank you. Rars uh, says, how do you feel about the new Silent Hill getting cancelled? Uh, don't really care, Silent Hill's gone to complete piss of late, honestly. Uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of boos from the fans here, but I didn't think Downpour was particularly good, and Homecoming was like the Silent Hill equivalent of a hemorrhoid. Like, ugh. Uh, if they can restore it to their former glory, then maybe it would have been something to look forward to, but as it stands, Silent Hill's been a bit of a downward slope lately. So, ugh. Sad that it could have had the opportunity to be good, but I'm not going to really care that much. Stainus, uh, I hope you pronounce it right. Have you ever thought about getting a band together and making a podcast with Kiko and Clyker? We did for a little while, then we fell out of the habit. Um, it's hard to arrange it all with us all working full-time, that's the problem. Though, I'll ask the boys, maybe they want to do some more soon. Stormwolf, uh, you have a question in mind. Do any of your co-workers know you have a YouTube channel for the commentary? Uh, yes, some of them do. Some of them actually uh, look, and some of them send me hate mail about it, which is uh, quite funny. Um, so yeah, some of them do. And what... Well, have they explicitly told you they watch your videos? Yeah, again, some of them did, and said, like, oh, I watched you play this, this, and this. There's a guy at work called Carl. He's a really big chap. He's six foot three, and for some reason, he's terrified of horror games. He's, he said he's watched Amnesia stuff, and he's, he says he has to, like, look away from the screen when scary stuff happens, which I find quite funny. He's the hardest-looking man you'll ever see, by the way. He is huge. He's muscly. He's ripped. I can imagine him carrying behind the screen of Amnesia. It's quite a funny thought. Oh, you good bloke. Um, so, yeah, he watched it. Nightmare Dude again! Man, you're getting you're getting to good mileage out of this. Uh, will you ever tell us a Spider Wars story? Maybe, if I find a loading screen long enough. You know, it, it could happen, could happen. Uh, Spoojax, what are your current specs and what file format do you use? Uh, MPEG, mainly because it's so easy, though I should do uh, the more YouTube friendly MP4s, but I find MPEG just works. Um, blah, 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 blah. 
what was I doing with that question? It's completely gone. Oh, specs, right, PC specs. I'm currently running uh, my Windows 7 on SSD, uh, mainly because it, it went bang. I got 8 gig of RAM, I got a GTX 970 graphics card in there. Um, and my processor is a 2600K, which I've OC'd to like 4.2 uh, per core with 8 threads, which is nice. Um, it does the job, it hasn't failed me yet, touch PC wood, but uh, yeah. Steve, as a follow-up question, will you be bringing back the Skype for backers? Yes, I will. Uh, it got left behind when I got stupidly busy with work. I've become a manager recently, which isn't helping things. Not that that's excusing, mind you, so sorry about that. Um, I will be bringing it back. Um, I lost my second Skype when I rebuilt my PC lately. Uh, I will be sorting it out, hopefully by next weekend, then. i uh, make that a goal and try and do that. Steve Nicholson, what is your favourite alcoholic beverage? Uh, originally it was cider, but now I've moved on to like fruity cider, um, which is quite nice. Uh, fruit cider is very, very tasty. Like uh, you can get like strawberry and lime, and like some like summer fruit stuff. And, oh, I wish I had some in my fridge right now. It's going to be really thirsty. Uh, I only have Pepsi here, which I seriously I should get a sponsorship for Pepsi. Oh well. Okay, base seven four six. How do you deal with working in the hospital with a long hair and a beard? Well, I obviously tie my hair back, and my beard's pretty short, so. Not not so bad. Don't forget, I'm not like rummaging my beard in patients' orifices or anything. You know, like there's no. I fix the PCs, so while I do interact a little bit with like the doctors and patients, I'm not like like molesting them or anything. Loki Duck, you've already mentioned in your comments your favorite Lovecraft stories, but what are some of your other favorites? Like top five, top ten. Uh, I can't think of top five off my head right now. I'd have to look at the titles and things. I know the general basis, but uh, the colors from Out of Space is one of my favorites. Although I may have already mentioned that one. Um, it really is a good story. It's very, very creepy. There is a few more. God, it's completely escaped me. Sorry. If you've got Twitter, ask me again on Twitter and I can give you a proper answer. Can I can actually look at the um, the ones I really enjoy because like, the names have completely escaped me, I'm afraid. Eddie Grant, do you still play League of Legends? Uh, if so, who's your main and do you, f do you more f do more fan games on Steam? On stream? Yes. <coughs> Uh, let's see, I play League of Legends sporadically, um, I haven't played in a good month or so actually, I've been too busy, um, but I do like to play. As for main, I don't have one, I'm, I main AD carry in ranked, I got to gold 2 last time I tried ranked, probably could have pushed up to plat if I stopped being lazy, um, so, and I did that with Caitlyn and Blitzcrank as my two characters, so if you want mains, I guess Caitlyn and Blitzcrank. Um, do I still play, oh, here's a better question, will you stop being a lol score and play Dota? <laughs> Uh, no, no, and yeah, give Chaz a slap for that one. <laughs> yeah, no, um, Dota's okay, but I'm, I was never too keen on it. Uh, Heroes of the Storm's better than Dota, I thought. I enjoyed that. Uh, let's see, STH's stuff. Is Rufa actually too cool for school? Nah, he's not going to school anytime soon, he's old, man. Like, old, ancient. Great, really old. It's no school for him. Soak the Milkman, does your mother know you're a sarcastic eldritch abomination? Oh, but abomination's a little bit harsh, I feel there. Um, my mum knows I do the videos, I guess, I think. I, I guess I could ask her. She used to be like, video games? <laughs> okay, that makes sound really old. She's not actually that old. Um, but, uh, <laughs> um, I don't think she knows about abomination. Also, where can I hire party bodies? Uh, sadly, you can't. They just seem to turn up. It's one of the sad things about them. Psycho Jerk, uh, what is the one gimmick in gaming you are tired of seeing in games? Ooh, would it be jump scares, regenerating health, escort quests? DLC, actually, there you go, that seems to be a gimmick these days. DLC sucks ass. If we're not getting to be a snide one, then I'd say, uh, I'd say jump scares in horror games, simply for being poor. Like, that's a gimmick I never like. Uh, if we're not, if I'm not allowed that, then, uh, regenerating health sucks donkey balls. So, yeah. The Apples 27, would you ever consider redoing Bioshock? Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it was done as that, like, with um, someone else at the time. I don't know if I want to redo it, maybe. Bioshock is a good game, though I haven't played it actually since I did those videos. I'm a bit rusty. Content other than Bloodborne? Um, not at the moment. I'm going to finish Bloodborne off, then probably start Resident Evil or something similar. Uh, from Stan Man, that was. Lucas uh, Santana, uh, will you do a video about Bloodborne when you finish the LP like you did with Near Thought Explanations? Yes, I probably will. I'll probably do something. I'll probably be wrong, because there's much more sensible people about the Souls games, but I'll throw my theories around. Why not? 
Demonic Bacon. Have you ever played Killer Is Dead? Yes, I really enjoyed it. I got it on PC. Very No More Heroes-ish. Uh, very, very strange game, but very sort of suave. I enjoyed it. Will I do an LP of it? No, but uh, good fun to play. Uh, Jansu18, have you ever played Thief Deadly Shadows? Yes. And what are your thoughts on the Shellbridge Cradle mission? Creepy. Uh, interesting. Not as creepy as everyone bigs it up to be, honestly. It's, uh, it's good, though. Any chance you'll LP it? Uh, no. Uh, Thief, I'm rubbish at, though um, I did find them pretty fun. What are your views on religion, and what is your belief system? from the camster um I uh, have no religion I, I, I'm not religious at all so not not something that particularly interests me um my belief is again I don't really have one uh in in that sense so I'm not a religious person I, I found religion fascinating though I studied it uh, for A levels at school um and I study it sometimes outside of just, just generally because I like looking things up um I find religion interesting though I don't find it necessary in my life it's probably the best way I can answer that uh, except, for, of course, yes. Except for Lord Cthulhu, obviously. Uh, Poe's facade. Uh, what language, if any, have you always wanted to learn? I spoke French in school to a reasonable degree. Uh, I've wanted to learn German of late. Um, I've been thinking about like starting a new language recently. So maybe in my free time, I'll try that. Uh, Crax Uh, says, and I still remember you getting into your videos when you did Alien vs Predator Two. Oh, well, thank you. Anyway, questions of which you have three. Okay, uh, let me click the read more thing. Have you ever played the Source Engine mod Underhell? No. Um, depends. Is it interesting? It, you say it's okay, but I don't know. I haven't. What do you think of the recent horror trend with games and movies? Uh, like five jump scares at Freddy. I find Five Nights at Freddy a waste of a waste of time. Uh, it's uh, it's built specifically to pander to uh, cam cams and LPs, which I don't appreciate. Games should stand alone in their own merits, not pandering to shit. Like, a lot of LPs and LPs these days uh, seriously don't make it about the games. It's about them. It's about shrieking, it's about nonsense, and that is not okay with me. Though that's probably because I'm getting old and cranky, but certainly where I stand, I feel that, like, Five Nights at Freddy in particular is a rather heinous example of, like, making games to, for, for, you know, for PewDiePie, if you like, or Markiplier, or any other people like that. Um, rather than making something that should stand on its own merits. There's nothing wrong with that, because it's going to make you money. Fair enough, but not something I'd ever want to see on my own channel or for me to play. Um, what do you think the most gruesome way to die is? Ooh, uh, um, I think being set on fire is generally probably the nastiest way to go. Um, yeah, I mean, the oxygen in your blood starts to, like, boil and stuff. That's, that's pretty bad. Oh, and the last Q&A you mispronounced my name is Karaksonen. <laughs> okay, well, not Karaksonen something. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully I pronounced it right this time. Uh, Carmen Katsu. I've seen a lot of Let's Players stop doing YouTube because they had to quit because of life of kids. Will we ever stop being a Let's Player later in life? Well, everyone has to stop doing something eventually. Uh, either I'm going to snuff it, or uh, you guys are going to get bored, and therefore there's there's no sort of point carrying on to an empty crowd. Or, uh, oh, I suppose I'll get uh, sick of it. I don't know. I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, but it, it's not entirely possible. Uh, have you ever contact with any of your YouTube fans in real life? Uh, yes, I have. Um, I've met quite a few people IRL who've uh, contacted me over the years. All of them have not been psychopaths, which is great. Um, yeah, so... And you've been a big fan for ages. Well, thank you very much. Uh, goof, goof, goof. Hells, will you please, please consider doing a four-player run of Magicka 2? Uh, I never... Sorry, I never liked the first Magic. I have no real plan of picking up the second one. Apologies. Dr. Hustler. Thoughts on playing Outlast? I don't like the idea of Outlast, considering it's a very jumpy scare kind of game. I may get roped into doing it. Uh, pass on that one for the time being. Maybe I'll be doing it, maybe not. I, I don't think so, unless I, I have a change of heart. But uh, it's, it's too far gone on the jump scare side of things I don't want to see. Though I imagine you guys all want to see that, so I don't know. Uh, we'll think about it. Simon Bennington, are you planning on making a Demon Souls or Dragon Dragon's Dogma? Wow, that came out left field. Uh, no and no. Uh, maybe Demons, definitely not Dragon's Dogma. It runs like a dog on the consoles. It would be irritating to record. It has big fat borders and runs at like two frames a second and blurry. Doesn't stop it from being a good game, Dragon's Dogma. Don't get me wrong, but it just it looks like ass and just be annoying. Forest Snowfall. When are you going going to do the gang to do another Call of Cthulhu session? Uh, I'm always up for it. Ask them lazy bastards. <laughs> I'm good. 
No, in all seriousness, it is difficult to plan. There's like, what, five of us who has to arrange it between all of our lives, all of us who work, some of us on diff- in different countries with different time zones. It does make it a bit difficult to plan. Um, we are planning to do with it either this Thursday or next Thursday. Um, so, yeah, hopefully soon. Oh, there go Pesta Kiko. He arranged it, so, you know. Left for Donuts. I honestly can't think of a single question to ask you. I've been watching you for over five years and I know pretty much everything there is to know, as creepy as that sounds. That's not that creepy, I guess. I think the only thing I can definitely say is I've never actually seen your face. Um, well, it's up on Twitter, and I put it in actually one of the latest videos, I think. I was wearing a silly Moogle hat. Uh, but either way, thank you for, uh, you know, for watching. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Gmod plus WoW. If you could create a game, any kind of game imaginable, what would you create? I would create a Lovecraftian horror game that, yeah, it would be an event. It'd be an adventure game, more like um, Dark Corners of the Earth, in the same vein that you could you could defend yourself and, but more emphasis on the mythos, more emphasis on the creepy stuff of behind the veil and breaking reality. That's what I'd make. I have I have ideas though. Everybody has ideas, and nobody wants just an ideas man. You have to actually be able to code, and I haven't coded for a very long time, but. Uh, that's something I'd like to make, definitely. Um, whether whether it, I'd ever be good enough or have the right sort of ideas for something like that is remains to be seen, but that's certainly the plan. Uh, Brokorn plays Halloween. If you, the world must know, boxes or briefs. I've already answered this actually um, earlier down, but uh, definitely boxes. Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Superman or Batman? Batman. Um, so I found Superman kind of dull, honestly. Uh, cider and Indian food or cream soda? Wait, what? Cider and Indian food or? Side of all Indian food, maybe? I don't know. Like, I like all of those things. Hmm. Anyway, let's move on. DL Alucard. Well, first question will have to be when are you going to be doing the Evil Within DLC? <laughs> You'll be waiting for a while, I feel. Uh, the other question is in twofold. Ever heard of a Russian survival horror game by the name of Pathologic and will you LP it? Yes and no. I've heard of it and no, I will not LP it. Although, from what I gather, they are redoing it. Um, whether it was Kickstarter or not, I can't remember, but. I believe there was plans for them to redo the game. Spruce it up, make it not look so ass. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. I've had a lot... Oh, I've been up a long time today. And uh, normally I edit yawns out because I'm just recording this straight away. Apologies. Okay. Uh, Darkseid1321. Have you ever seen Twin Peaks? <laughs> or played Deadly Permission? I've seen yes on both of them. Uh, I enjoyed both. I really, really enjoyed Deadly Permission. And, and, but I'm not going to LP it, no. It's... Not the kind of game I'd want to LP. It's very long and drawn out, especially in certain points. Bit of a bastard to edit. Um, just too long and stretchy, but very fun to play. Lots of very crappy gameplay sections, though, which is unfortunate. Omega Eden X Chaos. Yes, hello, good sir. My question is, have you been in health emotionally related way, if it's not that personal? Uh, I've been good health. I got hay fever, currently, which is annoying, so the sneezing. Uh... As for emotional needs, I'm pretty. I think I'm pretty all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything's going mostly okay for the time being. So, otherwise, what do you plan on doing after Bloodborne? Uh, again, I think, I think I'm going to be doing Resident Evil, either Revelations or remake. Not sure. What do you think of Ninja Sex Party? Uh, are they the are that the Ego Raptors band? If it was that the Bomb Sex Party, I can't remember. Uh, if it's the Eager Actors Band, they're pretty funny. Um, I enjoy some of their songs. King Zorius Prime, I have two questions. You're a rebel at that. Oh, well, well, sir, in that case. Will you be doing an LP of the Darkness 1? No, um, I don't even have my Xbox plugged in, sorted out. Nor do I own a copy of the Darkness 1 on Xbox, either, at the moment. I traded it in long ago, apparently. Which is weird, because I thought I still had it. I don't plan to. Even though it is a very good game, I, I do not plan to, currently. And will you look like I ever finished the Hunted Co-op? Wow. Also Hexen 2, yeah. We were discussing that not only today. Uh, yeah, we need to sort that out. I don't know when. Um, recording Hexen 2 is it's an odd faff. We have to do a lot of weird shit to get that to work co-op. Uh, it's also extremely laggy on his end, which is a bit of a nuisance. I'm going to say it's on hold for now. I don't know. It Hopefully we can get it up and running again. Uh, though it does require Hamachi, and Hamachi is the devil, which is annoying. Um, hopefully is the plan. Uh, Jill Samage. <laughs> hello, Halloween. Will you ever consider doing playing an old 90s point-and-click horror game like Phantasmagoria or Stone Cube? <laughs> no, not... I am... Um, no. That's not to laugh at your question, it's just that Phantasmagoria is something I have played and it's a terrible, terrible game. Um, Phantasmagoria 2 is very funny. 
in terms of how bad it is, but neither I thought was entertaining enough to play. Though, honestly, Slow Beef and I think Diabetes went through Phantasmagoria 1, and that wasn't half bad. The only one I might play would be Darkseed. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Yo, I don't normally talk this much in quick succession, it's making me yawn as well. Um, some of them might seem dull, but yeah, they do have a lot of funny things. Darkseed particularly was interesting, though all of them suffered from the did you pick up the piece of piss at 9 o'clock on the first day, otherwise you failed the game at 3 o'clock on the last day. Super annoying. Um, Guru Arg. But no, I don't plan on playing them, though they are interesting relic pieces to go through sometimes. What are your favourite pizza toppings? I kind of like margarita pizzas, actually, though chicken barbecue is okay. That's from N Noble. Uh, Kin Valor, when do you start LPing? Just realised I haven't even got through a third of the questions. It's 25 minutes in. Ugh. Sorry, it's not It's not like a, a slight against your questions. It's more like, I hope I don't make the video too long and bore you all to death. Why do you start when, Why do you start LPing? Um, I've mentioned this many times in the previous ones, uh, but just to reiterate because you haven't seen them. Uh, a guy called Ginger Majingo, he did a blood uh, Hitman Blood Money LP, and it was the funniest thing ever. And I remember, <laughs> he actually commented on the last one of this when I said he sounded like Dominic Diamond. I don't think he appreciates it, but I st still think he did sound a little bit like him. Um, either way, he was a very, very funny, funny man, funny LP, who's very sadly, his videos don't exist anymore, which is a crying shame, because his LP videos knocks the pants off of anything you'll see on YouTube today. Very, very, very good. Very funny, very informative as well. You also did a, um, what was that very strange game from Free Radical? Second Sight, was it, with the with the psychic guy? You also did one of those. Uh, either way, it was him. Uh, he inspired me to do it, and then I did my own with Alice, and sure enough, here we are. Uh, after many, many years. Now, Jesus. Um, also, thank you for the channel. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. Link Slayer, what is your recording setup? Mic capture card. I'm currently got a... Ooh, hold on. Ah, yeah, Sennheiser headset. Um, I completely forgot what that was then. Um, my capture card is an Elgato HD capture. Uh, I use Fraps for PC. And I record uh, and compress, like, uh, using Vegas. That Also, what would it take for me to be as cool as you? Considering I'm not amazingly cool? Uh, I don't know. Probably probably not too hard. You just, I don't know, eat your greens, make sure you eat the crust and the bread, and that kind of thing. Joy. Joy says, do you have any pets? Sadly, not anymore. Um, I used to always own hamsters. Um, the last one perished a few years back, and I never uh, never, never got another one. They always lived a long time, though, which is always nice. Uh, favourite movie? The Thing, 1982 version, by John Carpenter. What is your favourite pastime when you aren't playing games? Listening to music. Um, used to be skateboarding, but I'm old and grizzly now, so I, my knees can't hack it. <laughs> I, I jest. Kind of, actually. Um, but listening to music, uh, going out, socialising... Um, hang out with my friends. Uh, eating. <laughs> Does eating cows a hobby? Kind of. Um, mainly listening to music. I have a huge music collection. I really like like metal music and, and video game music, and I listen to it a lot. Uh, I also like reading. I really, really like reading. Uh, be it books, comic books, uh, graphic novels. You know, for the uh, for the uh, sophisticated man, uh, things like that. So. Also, a little thank you for hours of entertainment. Uh, I've only watched a couple of LPs. Your channel continues my go-to. Oh, thank you very much. I'm really glad you keep coming back as well. Thank you. Um, smack you the gabber. Swear I'm like... Uh, Joy also says... Also, if you decide you want to do one of the Metroid Prime games... Oh, I would like to. I really would. I don't know how well I could record Metroid Prime. I could do the Wii... I could do the Wii trilogy I own. I could record that. Though, maybe it's a side project. Uh, not anything I got planned main, but it is a very, very good game. I do like them a lot. Are you a kid or are you a squid? <laughs> nice. Uh, I have been playing a lot of Splatoon, uh, says that's for Zo87. I've been playing a lot of it. Uh, it's very fun. Did you and Clyker play through Monster Hunter 4? No, we didn't. I've never played Monster Hunter Clyker. Like, buying like one or two hours collectively over like the last eight years or however long as I've known him now. Big E, uh, I've been around for a while and I feel like a big doof for not knowing, so what exactly is your job at the hospital? I fix PCs, uh, is the long and short of it, uh, software and hardware. Um, second question, what Lovecraft title is your favourite? I've already answered that previously, so hopefully that was uh, good enough for you. Um, Black Splotted Zebra, Splotted? Spotted Zebra says, an off-topic question, uh, let's go to NFL, what are your thoughts on the 49ers off-season so far? Uh, 49ers haven't been doing great anyway, I, I like Kaepernick a lot, um, Though, 
just, just, just generally last season more than anything uh, it's just generally quite poor uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping we'll get some new, with a new coach isn't it as well I'm hoping we'll get some good new stuff happening this season I hope we're winning a lot more games though my dad is very sceptical <laughs> he's uh, not seeing much faith in the old 49ers at the moment I believe I believe I believe in Kaepernick so I believe in good things uh, have you checked out Path of Exiles says uh, Kai Kixi Kai Kixi uh, I haven't. Not really my game. I don't like the Diablo S clones. I don't like Diablo things like that. Not not really my sort of cup of tea. Dove Alexa, who I can never reply to, by the way. You've got you haven't got Google Plus, have you? So I have not ignored your comments previously on videos, in case you're curious. But uh, so sorry about that. If you want to celebrate the channel star, go get a box of cake mix and bake a cake. Oh, I can't do cake mix though, can I? I'd have to like bake it properly. Uh, I'd have to I'd have to get all the ingredients together and do it properly. Uh, now for the next question, do you cook? Uh, yes, I do. Um, <laughs> sometimes it is shove thing in oven, cook until brown, and then not poison itself. But I do I do cook. I can do roasts. I can do vegetables. I I can do everything basic, I suppose. I'm not going to be doing any gourmet cooking anytime soon. But I can, you know, I can cook various stuff and I can bake various stuff. So I'm I'm not a caveman, just put it that way. Gunner, uh, hello, Gunner. Let's see. Uh, it's been a long time indeed. I don't think I've ever. There hasn't been one since you subscribed. Was that two years? Anyway, question: Are you a nurse? No, I'm not. Um, I'm not a nurse. I'm a PC tech. Though I do see, I sort of do go around wards and sometimes see patients. Not intentionally, but I do say hello to them. If you allow me another one, how do you feel about redoing some of your old pieces in the game where you recorded audio from your speakers? Ah, yes, those are the old days. It's a very difficult one because. Uh, as much as I'd like to, I feel I couldn't improve on them commentary-wise. While the sound quality and the recording quality would, of course, be miles increased. I know how long I have shite dial-up, or whatever equivalent broadband I had back then. Um, and I obviously record the sound properly. It's just... I don't think I could do them justice in the same way I did. I don't think that my LPing style has improved. If anything, it's either st stagnated or, you know, gone down a bit. I feel that they're as good as they're going to get commentary-wise. If I could re-record the footage perfectly one-to-one -one with the commentary, I'd of course love to do so. I, I feel I might leave it... Uh, I don't know. You do extremely well with games you, commentary with games you already know. I, 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 think, I think not everyone would agree either. I don't know. Um, I don't know. If, if there's some sort of big outcry or big thing that people say, yes, I, I want you to do Call, Dark Corners of the Earth or Alice 1 again... I want to see, you know, you, you to come back eight years later and redo and have a look at these things, and maybe I'll consider it. Yeah, well, there you go. So if, if anyone listening wants to see that, let me know. Um, uh, either way, thank you for watching, Gun. I know you, you're a big commenter as well. It's nice to see you around. Uh, TLC Bonaparte. Uh, hey, Halloween, if you want to get ownership of the hospital you work in, what's the one thing you change about it? Well, a fresh lick of paint wouldn't do any good. Damn thing's been there for donkey's years. We own another part of another hospital, which has been there since the 1600s, if not slightly earlier, and that thing needs to have the entire place reworked. The damn staircase in there slants sideways in like a spiral up this old, this old ancient house. It's bizarre. You should see it. So yes, yeah, it's, it's building work, honestly. Would you consider a Let's Play of XCOM Long War? No. No, 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 no. Not, not my thing. I love the games. I couldn't help you them. I, I, I swear too much and get cross. <laughs> uh, Paco Pingus. Different video game question. Got any good, uh, good band songs or soundtracks you'd recommend to anyone? I would always recommend um, Dropkick Murphys to people. I love them. I think they're a good band. Can't go wrong. Very sort of inoffensive in terms of how the music sounds. Good fun. Ten Line Line. I, if I request, could you do a Let's Play Pathologic? Kind of already answered that previously. I hope that was okay. Um, so the answer is probably not. Though maybe you'd have to see what that Kickstarter thingy comes off. Elijah Lee, PC Specs, already answered it previously. Uh, again, I hope that covered it. Also, general questions regarding LPs. How do you determine wh what we'd like to do an LP of? Sometimes I just like a game. Uh, sometimes, yeah, a game just gets my interest and I want. I think, oh, this would be fun to LP. Other times I have plans or people give me stuff and I think this would be good fun to do. Bit of, bit of all three, honestly. How long do your uploads normally take? Now? Just uploads, 15 minutes. Compression, oh, sorry. <laughs> <sighs> dreadfully sorry. Uh, just, just the uploads. Uh, Fifteen minutes. Compression takes ages. Depending on the game, between forty minutes and an hour and a half per fifteen minutes, depending on how the compression works. A mummy. Knowing from your previous you play Shadow Hearts, who's your favourite Shadow Hearts character? I can't. Yuri, man. The first, the first lead of the first game. Like he just, he was just fun. 
enjoyable character. I enjoy the Shadow Hearts games. I haven't played them in a very long time, actually. John Doe, I've been curious about your thoughts on the whole Konami, Hideo Kojima, Silent Hills drama that's been going on. That, I guess, Bloodstained. Bloodstained, I backed for $110. I think Bloodstained is going to be fantastic. It looks like Order of Ecclesia 2 in terms of what you got as a protagonist, and it's continuing on Castlevania's legacy. It's going to be, I really, really hope it's going to be absolutely wonderful. The whole Konami thing, honestly, as much as it sucks, Konami have a goal in mind. They think they're going to make money from doing this, this, and this. In this case, mobiles. Mobile focus, it's a constant focus. And more power to them. They believe that's where the money is, and as a business, that's where they should take their intellectual properties. Uh, gaming isn't just the consoles anymore. That, and that's the reality of it. Mobile phones and mobile devices and <laughs> pachinko machines, in Konami's case, perhaps may be the future. Uh, I'm very sad, because I'd love to see more Castlevania and Contra and things, but... As for the Hideo Kojima stuff, weird. Until we get a proper lowdown, what actually happened? God, it you knows. Weird stuff. Pizza or cheeseburger? Oh, God, why make me choose? <sighs> Pizza, probably. Just about to, for probe, though. Uh, Dandroid. Uh, will you be my Huckleberry? I don't know what Huckleberry is. Is that's is that from a show? That's terrible, isn't it? Is that is that the is that the cut show of the car? Or is that Huckleberry Hound from Hanna Barbera? I don't know. I might be. I might not be. I don't know until I find out what that is. I have to Google it. Something screams. I'll just ask a few and see if one get answered. How's the Call of Cthulhu game and you constantly question the place of the stairs? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, I make Kiko draw the damn things now. Uh, you work around medical professionals. Have any of them successfully resuscitated someone with a pumpkin or any other gourd? Not that I've ever seen. Gun to your head or bot in your hand, I suppose. You're forced to replay Cry Feel the Evil Within. Which do you choose? The Evil Within by Miles. Cry of Fear is just a mess. It's a bad, bad, low-budget indie title compared to a very high-budget, mediocre game. Mediocre versus bad, easy win. Um, Out of the many shotguns you come across, which is your favourite? The fear shotgun always wins that question because it's the only shotgun I've ever seen rip off someone's head and split them in half in one shot. Like, goddamn, that is burly. Are you and Kiko in a relationship, or does he just live in the corner under your bed? No, we're lovers, it's true. Martin Fox is there. I, Pie Man... Halloween, would you rather make intense love to the power of Thor with the, with the power of Thor while stroking your manly beard and dragon circle by heavy heavy metal? Wait, what? Who would I rather make intense love to? Is it Femi Isaac, Lady Kiko or Bruce? Or Thor? I, I don't know. Uh depends <sighs> That's a very strange question. I think Bruce is out of the question though. I'm not sure what sex Bruce is. I think a lady being one of the animals, but probably get eaten. Uh, Lady Kiko attacks me. Femi Zack would kill me. I don't think I'm getting anything out of any of these relationships, honestly. I mean, hell, I don't think we'd even make it to the movies. We'd all get murdered. Lorelei, you keep mentioning tea on Twitter. Have you been converted? I, occasionally. Occasionally been converted? I actually wouldn't mind a cup of tea right now. All this talking is making me really thirsty. Uh, mm, sort of converted. I have more tea than I used to, definitely. Z Red Spy, as a fan of the Castlevania games, do you know that Iger is the... G- I answered that previously, and yeah, I backed it massively. Um, do you think about doing this game... Yeah, I'll, I'll LP Bloodstained. Damn right. I'm going to play it to death first, and I'll, I'll do a video of it. Amazed says, where's Travis? He's in LP hell, I'm afraid. I will be getting around to that again. Sorry. Both that and Volker Chronicles have just dragged a bit, uh, in terms of, not in terms of their games, but in terms of setting up uh, how recording them. Uh, does that make any sense? It's just difficult to record them, so it's getting into the groove of things. Sorry, I will get back on them. Promise. Stormwolf, I have a question. Why do you all speak an English accent when from out of space and there's no Britain? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, real question. Have you seen the movie with this quote? And if so, what do you think about it? Uh, I don't recognise the quote. So, I think nothing of it. It's an interesting quote. I, I don't... Maybe you recognise it? I don't think so. Hell Raven, what's the recommended disposal method for a copy of Other M? A bin, a shredder, one of those CD destroyers seems to be quite good. You feed them in, it like makes little bumps on it so no one can ever read them. Alternatively, a coaster is always handy because just, you know, resting sticky drinks on top of it is always quite useful. That's what I find. Uh, alternatively, you could like hang them outside, cut them in half and make them as crow scarers. It's always quite good too. Braceface McGee says, why are you such a scrub? Rich come from you, McGee. Oblivion's Hero, answer me these questions three. What is your name? What is your quest? And what is your favourite colour? Red, no, blue, ah! Uh, I Pie Man again. 
How do I go about making a beard, manly beard, and make love to you? You're very, very love happy, I pie man. I feel you, you've got a lot of joy in your life. Though to grow a beard, you have to focus, squeeze the beard muscles. Melancholy Iguana, what is your favourite acronym? Uh, my favourite acronym, Fubard's pretty good. Though t the old school like Ruffle, like rolls off the laughing, just as, it's always stuck with me as one of my favourites for some stupid reason. What question would you most likely to see? Or like to see. I don't know. That's that's a weird question on itself. I'll ask it back to you on that. Uh, Matthias Steve uh, Svensson. Question: Any plans on Ghostbusters if you came? I actually hated that game. Oh, I really did. I tried it, and the suggestion, like, I really didn't like it at all. Like, really, really bad. I, I think I should give it another shot. I maybe I wasn't in the right frame of mind, but I, it soured me greatly. So sorry. Uh, Toe Silver? Is that Toe Silver? Not quite sure how to pronounce your name, sorry. Uh, in five or six years, will you still be doing videos? Hof hopefully. I mean, I don't, I certainly don't see YouTube staying the same as it is right now. Let's put it that way. Uh, as a game developer, how should I contact you in order to get a copy of a license in exchange for an honest review on it? Uh, email me. My email, uh, halloween45 at hotmail.co.uk. Send it to me on Twitter, or send me a message on Twitter, and then you can email me. Uh, send me a private message on YouTube if you really must, but I don't check them very often. Uh, you've also been following me a long time, and your videos cheer me up. Uh, thanks for everything, Mr. I mean, oh, you're most welcome. Um, thank you, too, for watching. Really, really do appreciate everyone who does watch. Ah, Melancholy Iguana again. What is a skill you wished you had? Uh, to speak more languages, honestly. Would you rather be able to shoot lasers from your eyes or do a Kamehameha Heart Wave? Kamehameha Heart Wave? Come on, clearly. Who hasn't done that growing up? Like with Dragon Ball? Cornish pasty or Cornish ice cream? Weird. Uh, Cornish pasty, I think, honestly. Uh, how do you find enough time today to do things like this? Uh, <laughs> you, f you kind of make time, or like I'm doing now, staying up way later than I should be, and <laughs> answering this, and then waking up early tomorrow and feeling like death. Uh, you basically just squeeze it in where you can, and just go, fucking time, and then die. You and Moons, good stuff. Let's even think of an interesting thing. Okay, what have you got? Do you have any idea how your love for horror started? No, actually, it's just one of those things that you just know you like. It's kind of silly. I know that, I know that it's an interesting topic, and I know that it fascinates me. I suppose. Do you have a favourite horror protagonist antagonist? Mm. Horror antagonists are the best when they're not easily understandable. I find like the mythos creatures, like they're not out necessarily to like to screw with you, uh, because of any particular purpose. Just because they exist to screw with you. I find that always quite interesting. As for a protagonist, the ones that aren't like Burles McBurlson, who come from the land of Burl and murder people, you know, average Joe man, I suppose, or even, or occasionally Isaac, because it's just over top stomping is always good. Um, I do, I have a personal preference for female protagonists. I find that they don't get enough of them, and female horror protagonists even less so. Uh, so, uh, preferably a female horror protagonist would be my 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 personal preference. Have you had any possible ideas for a game of your own? I answered this previously earlier. I do have ideas, though, again, ideas ideas do not make a game, unfortunately. If there's one person in the world, dead or alive, you could choose to have a chat with, possibly some beers, who would you choose? Oh, man. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Anyone in the world to have a chat with? Shit, sure, I'd love to have a chat with, like, Asimov or, or uh, you know, Philip K. Dick, and, like, show them today's technology and be like, yo, bros, what do you think? I think that'd be quite fascinating. Uh, this has been bugging me for years now. I've scoured everything... What's the, what's the deal with Ribby on Swindon? Is Kiko buying a chance for Swindon? No, he's not. There's nothing... Okay, Swindon... Swindon's a running joke, I know, but... Swindon is a town relatively close to here that just is... It's not the best, nicest town in the world, let's put it that way. It's okay. Uh, it's nothing terrible. It's just fun to pit, take the piss off. It's... Uh, <laughs> just Google it and research Swindon. Have a look. <laughs> take, take your own, take your own uh, mind on that. And lastly, another thing that's positive for you is, what exactly is a Tosspot, anyway? Tosspot's an idiot. You know, Tosspot, Tosser, Wanker, Gimp, usual stuff. Aqualizzi, what was the favourite part of LPing? Also, any more Secret World vids? We're planning on doing one. Uh, we actually have a Secret World key to give away, uh, that was graciously donated by um, the developers, Funcom. Uh, so we're actually planning to do a riddle and some other bits and bobs, but I'm waiting for Rufus to get off his hiney and do it. He said he wants to sort something. Uh, your thoughts on Gamergate? Man, that is a question that is just not able to be answered in a video like this. It'd be something that needs its own video, honestly. 
in the long and the very long and short of it would be a fucking mess and like a very very silly but it needs that's something that needs a sensible answer and you know an actual thought a lot of thought behind it um but the long and short of it is like uh let's see that's from idam uh addy white says if you could have any superpower what would you choose oh the power of flight i know it's boring but man wouldn't that be cool also who's your favorite author Actually, I'm going to go for a slightly different. Not necessarily a favourite author in terms of books, but my favourite author in terms of writing it would be Garth Innes, the guy who does stuff like Preacher and The Boys uh, for the, from comics. I think he's a really, really good writer. Um, so slightly different, but uh, if if you like comic books, that would be a good, good go for. Um, if you don't... Ooh, let's see. Who'd be really, really good? Hmm... Actually, no, I'm just going to say, give that, even if you don't like comic books, give that suggestion a try. Look for Preacher by Garth Innes, and tell me what you think. Um, it, it is a comic book, but it is good fun. Um, it, let, me, let, me, let me know what you think. Uh, if, if, that, if that isn't good enough for you, like, give me a prod on Twitter or something, I'll give you a proper answer for books. Uh, Akomi, Akomi? Uh, hey, Halloween always wonder what story behind your username. Oh, that's not really a question. Uh, that's kind of a question. Um... Uh, basically, I liked the band Halloween when I was younger. Um, I liked the band MD45 when I was younger. I put the two together, got Halloween 45. Some bastard took it when I was making my YouTube channel. I added another 45 on the end because I was lazy. Uh, there you go. One one username. <laughs> Nothing particularly crazy, unfortunately. Captain Princess. What's the secret to your supple feminine hands? Uh, are they feminine? I don't know. They're kind of big. I don't know. My hands are huge. Like, they're long and thin. It's weird. I've got, like, slender man hands or something. Um... I guess I, do, I don't, like, punch things all the time, maybe? 109 volts. How much lewd can be handled? Mm, maximum lewd. You, you can absorb a lot of lewd. Uh, Hawkeye. Here, I'll make you hungry. What's your favourite comfort food? Man, a bag of minstrels. Like, that's English chocolate, by the way, in case anyone's curious. They're really nice. Like, thick galaxy chocolate around a crispy shell. Ooh. Uh, Savendorax. Are there any YouTubers you follow with a similar content to yours? And have you ever cancelled an LP because someone else started the same game as you were about to? Uh, don't know and no. I don't watch many... I don't watch LPs, actually, at all. Pretty much, full stop. I don't like watching video LPs. I watched occasional Kiko's videos, which takes me fancy. Uh, I watched his Zed ones and a couple of others. Uh, but generally, I prefer to read LPs. Um, I find... <laughs> ironically, I find LPs on video too slow. I want to see a game... I want to read it because I can read very very quickly and I can go through the entire game in like an hour and just see all the stuff and that, that suits me and lots of little pretty pictures and funny comments plus screenshot LPs you have to be very witty to do um, especially in terms of writing writing wit is very hard and uh, yeah so I kind of went off tangent a bit there but yeah uh, as for like other people doing stuff I could go monkeys what other people do generally um, so I don't really care like, it doesn't matter if like Joe blogs or you know does does X game when I'm doing X game. Like who cares? If you guys wanted to watch me, you'll watch me. You know. Ah, hello. Simply Cyrus says, if you could harness the power of all millions of followers you have on your channel, <laughs> uh, forty-seven thousand eight hundred seventeen. In fact, what would you call? Do you direct them to? If I really could harness the power, hopefully something good, like prod them in the direction of like a really nice charity, like Macmillan's Cancer Care or something. I know that's a very really dull, dull thing. I'm not saying I've been waiting to be summoned to Unholy Battle. Wait, or should I say Skeleton War? Sorry, maybe the Skeleton War. Congrats on 47k, I remember 1k. So do I, I remember the 1k video you did, in fact, that's still in my favourites, I believe. So thank you for that, and thank you for sticking around. Uh, no... Nos... Nosfru for you? Sorry, don't know how to pronounce that exactly. It's a bit sneaky to call someone a question, but you think you'll LP in the following games. Silent Hills 1, 2, Fatal Frame 2, or Siren. Yes, on Silent Hill 1, no, 2, I don't like it that much, I know, blasphemy. Fatal Frame 2, probably not. Siren, definitely not. Siren, I have a bit of trouble with. Siren loves a grainy film effect, which uh, I honestly have... Uh, I get, like, visual snow in my eyes, like, quite badly, uh, which looks like the film grain effect. Double that, as it already looks on that, I can see piss all in the Siren game, so it'd be an entire game of me, like, running around, slamming into walls, which would be sad. Uh, how are we doing on time? God, 50 minutes. I can still go. I can still go. I believe. Are there any games you wanted to LP, but because of the whole horror channel thing, you can't do it? No, I'm... Originally Illusion of Time, or Illusion of Gaia. Um, but I, I've abandoned that whole not horror thing, at least briefly, for side projects, so... I, I pretty much do what I've done. So nice. Um, Diablo 3, any good? I didn't like it. Any good couch co-op games you can suggest? 
Couch Corp. Hmm. I don't play that many Couch Corp. Mario Kart, if that counts. Or Super Mario... Ah, no. Super Mario 3D World is very, very fun with two people, actually. Where do you get these artistic thumbnails for your videos? I don't know, just steal them off the internet. Says <laughs> for howling bark. Uh, t t Tomoe? T Tomoe? Yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself in the future? Oh, it's a job interview question. Shit. Um, hopefully still in work. Hopefully still with enough free time to do these videos. Jesse, what is your favourite game, just in general? This changes so much for me sometimes, I swear, but, um... Hmm. Difficult. Difficult, difficult question. Ah, oh, it, it changes, but of all time? <sighs> Chrono Trigger, maybe. Secret of Mana, maybe. Ah. Oh. Difficult. Sorry, I have to flake out now. Maybe Chrono Trigger or Secret Mana. I've played them so many times, I can always go back to them. Um, if I give you the Evil Within DLC, I, guys, guys, stop the Evil Within. I have the DLC already. I have the code for it. I'm just not doing it. So I appreciate the kind sentiment of you wishing to see me tortured to death by this, you horrible people. But um, I've, I've got it. I just don't. I don't think I'm gonna do it. At least not for a while. Um, sorry, Legend. Your question. If you'd have gifted it, would I have done it? <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. It's really late. I'm <laughs> I keep yawning. That's terrible. Ugh, I need some more caffeine. Um, would I? Re how would I react? Badly is how I reacted. Legend. Uh, how are things between you and Cthulhu right now? Well, we're on talking terms. Yeah, he's a, he's a good chum. Doc Hope. Halloween. Would you profitably try pa Path? Man, you guys like Pathologic, don't you? Maybe, maybe. There's a lot of. There seems to be you know, a good few questions about. It. I'll have to look into this a bit more. Doctor Jack Thunder. Are we going to get more cooking with Halloween? Yeah, maybe. Depends on what I end up cooking. Not if I end up poisoning myself. It was actually really hard to hold the iPad in one hand and like try and do the cooking with the other. Or the baking, I say. Because I'm... Uh, Rumo Shinta. Because I'm curious, here are two questions. Do you still play Final Fantasy XIV? Yes, I do. Currently playing at the moment. Whatever happened to Clyke? I've not seen that bugger in ages. And I've subscribed to his channel. He deleted a load of his videos like a bit of a derp. Um, go pester him to bring him back. And I played Splatoon with him this evening, so he's still alive and well, I promise. We play lots and lots of games together, including Final Fantasy. I lied, there's a third. Oh my god. If your channel exploded in subscribers like way over one million, and there's people idolising you more than usual, we feel overwhelmed. I'll feel puzzled more than anything. I mean, sure, I mean, who wouldn't like more subscribers in a way, but I kind of, I, I like... You guys have all naturally come along and found me, for the most part. I haven't done any weird co-abs with, like, PewDiePie or Manga Minx or anything to, you know, get more subscribers in or do anything like that. I feel that my I'm actually perfectly content with the fan base staying as it is, as currently as is. If nothing ever changes, that would suit me down to the ground. You guys are all great, and it's nice to do stuff for pe people who actually came here looking for your content, as opposed to just getting ported over. If you know what I mean. Um, Forever dreamy. If would you ever lose all your glorious hair and come bald, or have hair that never stops growing in terms of the real life Rapunzel? <laughs> I think a real life Rapunzel would be pretty cool. I'd look pretty swag like that. I think. Dirt naps. If you had a million pounds you could only donate, where would your money go? Uh, into cancer research. Definitely. Uh, Garjan Naraj, will you ever show your face? I have, it's on my Twitter. Also in a video I uploaded recently. How long is your hair? Uh, quite long. I actually need to get it cut. The ends are getting really scraggly. I need to sort that out. It's horrible. Is it straight? It's straight with ringlets at the end, embarrassingly. All the ladies love it. You should see they all come and fuss over it when I'm at work. They're all like, oh my god, your hair is beautiful. It's really annoying. It <laughs> ringlets. It's like it's like a cute, like, two-year-old girl's level of hair. Stupid. My colour... What colour is my hair? Um, weird. It does, hold on. Have you not seen two? You've not seen me. Anyway, cut my, I've got dark brown, almost black hair. My eyes are brownish. Uh, yeah, brownie eyes. What race are you? Uh, white, Caucasian. Do I have a big nose? No, I don't think so. Do you have elephant ears? Yeah, they, they seem pretty normal. I can wear headphones, so... Are you fat or skinny? I'm reasonably skinny, although I'm getting, getting less skinny as I'm ageing, sadly. Um, when was the last time you drank with Dr. Pepper? Uh, mm, I don't know, hold on. Is that Dr. P? No, it's Pepsi. A while. Mm. Sorry, take a drink. Mm. I'm a favourite on some unsavoury sites. Uh, what sites? <laughs> is a question. Uh, Netherline Raditz? Uh, what good timing? I've been wondering... Oh, okay. Has anyone you know I ever found your little corner of the internet? Yes. It's weird. Very weird. I asked you lots of questions, like, are you a nutter? Uh, Doset 2015 I've been around to see some of your glitchy LPs, like your trouble Alice Madness Returns. So what was the toughest game to ever record? As in the console didn't play well, the equipment, the emulator, shit. Oh man. Um, 
Silent Hill Downpour because the, the recording software would sometimes just cut out in the middle of it which would then desync the video and if you didn't notice oh man what a bullet that was that was really hard to record very very difficult the game itself also kind of crashed a few times which never helped um Peg Faces do you have a girlfriend I do she's lovely uh or am I gay do I have a boyfriend I do not have a boyfriend but I have a girlfriend Lord Zalus Blackthorn if you could redo an LP what would it be um ooh. Again, I covered that slightly earlier. If I could redo them and I could redo them well, I'd do the original ones to repair the sound. Um, up to Alien vs. Predator 2, basically. Blue Joe, question. If you're confronted with irrefutable proof of some sort of cosmic horror, would you worship it? Uh, well, if you worship it, you get killed first, so that's usually a good plan. You know, you don't want to be around for the nastier stuff. Josh Sanchez. Halloween, we ever get story time with Halloween? Uh, also, why do you like spiders so much? Uh, story time with Halloween is only during loading screens or terrible, terrible occurrences like so. Um, also, do I like spiders? Yeah, they're useful. They catch bugs, man. There's one above my door that's caught like a thousand flies. He's like king useful. I just, I don't mind them. They're not saying I'm scared of. Like, you know, I know that some people just freak out, but I don't. It's wasps that get me. And spiders catch wasps. That's why I like spiders. Uh, Hawk Supreme, are you not doing a hex in two o'clock as logistics or nobody likes it? <laughs> logistics. Um, they would seem to be reasonably popular. Also, what do you hate is by not uploading the last Volker record? It's actually just one stage. I'm so sorry. I need to get on that. I just need a, an evening where I've got enough time to do it. Again, some of the console recording is very complicated. It's it's kind of silly how like much hard work it is to record console stuff sometimes. It's weird, but um, I will try and do it as soon as possible. Anthony Spag, what is your favourite game of all time? Any genre, any platform? I kind of cover that. Let's go with Chrono Trigger and Secret Mana, uh, probably. Um, Ambient Q, hey, Wee, it's been a while. It has, it's true. Uh, how are you? Uh, I'm wondering if you feel like your LP style has changed. Gotta be, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think it's reasonably similar. But I, of course it would change over the years, I think. I'd like to think I stayed relatively faithful to how I started out. Still trying to focus more on the game and the experience rather than my big ass, like, noisy self. I hope I, I've kept it that way. Um, but I, I think obviously your your gameplay style changed. I mean, I've aged. I've aged a lot. I mean, it's seven, eight years is a long time, you know? Um, it, so I, would, I think just generally how I talk and how I act in games would, would generally change. Uh, I certainly changed the way I, like, some sort of la the language I use. Uh, a certain language I grew up with at school that was acceptable when I was at school is no longer acceptable now. It's that, it's that kind of thing, you know? Um, so that's definitely changed in that sense. For the actual style, though, it's a difficult question. Um, I, I don't think it's changed that much, but it, it certainly would have been a little bit. Oh, wow, that is a really bad answer to that question. I'm really sorry. Um, yes, I think it has changed, is, is perhaps the best, best thing to say. Um, to, to the extent, I don't know. I, I, uh, difficult to say. It's a hard, very hard to evaluate your own stuff and see how you've changed, especially when you're saying similar stuff over the years. Urgh. Good question, though. Good question. Let me think. I, I, I don't know how to give you a satisfying answer, I'm afraid. Uh, Dan J, 1996. Halloween, I've been subscribed to you for over four years. I've been watching LPs ever since Amnesia. I have a question for you. Would you ever consider doing LP of Demon Souls? Uh, again, maybe one day, but certainly no plans to right now. Pat Greco. Greco? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Have you ever travelled outside the UK? Yes, many times. Uh, France and America, for the most part. Um, my favourite place to visit? France was very nice. Then again, so was America. Mm, difficult. I visited uh, the south of North America. It was very nice over there. Very nice people, lots of nice food. I, I wouldn't mind going back at some point. Uh, Kruger, uh, what kind of car do you drive? I don't. Um, I have a driving licence. I do not own a car at the moment because I live so close to work, I can walk. So, do not own a car. And because I'm living near a city, I just get a bus and a train everywhere else I want to go. Um, I should probably buy a car at some point again soon, but can't be asked. Expense I don't need right now, honestly. Um, though, when I did drive, uh, I had a Honda um, Honda Civic. Uh, Danish Pornsty? Uh, are you going to play the DLC for the... No! No, I'm not. No, sir. Uh, Dirty D and the crew, how did you come across being such an outstanding fellow? Um, well, thank you for thinking so. I don't, I'm not quite sure I, I, I'm an outstanding fellow, but uh, I hope to think I'm okay. And what do you think human? Do you think humans will stand the test of time? Unfortunately, not. I feel we're going to do ourselves in first. Sadly, 
It'd be nice to think that we'll stand the test of time, but we keep having these devices that we can, like, murder the piss out of each other on a, like, continental scale at this point, which is not so handy. I don't know. I'd like to think we would, but I think practically we probably won't. Anna Zero, hmm, let's see, question one. Do you ever see your channel change direction from full-on horror channel to something, sometimes horror channel? It may eventually have to if we run out of decent things to play, though probably not time anytime soon. Certainly, I think horror with side stuff is the, is the way I want to keep it. Question two, are there any games you wished you could play for whatever reason but they don't work? Uh, Berserk still gives me a lot of grief. Um, I'd like Berserk to work better. I'm having a lot of trouble recording it right now, uh, to the point where I'm thinking about abandoning it. It's just not working. There's certain sections of it just completely crap out. Which is sad. Uh, but, so, so, you know, it's LV, it's emulation. Um, question three. Throwing fire or pimp cane and top hat. Pimp cane and top hat, just simply because it works. And it works well. That's the fourth question. Doom or Wolfstein? Doom. That's what I grew up with. Uh... I was five, I think, when Doom came out. Six, five, six, and I really, really enjoyed it. Perfectly suitable game for a kid to play, I might add. Thanks, Dad. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Doom was a good laugh. Uh, Pyroxist, uh, I think that is. Apologies, that's wrong. Since you're into Lovecraft and things of that nature, have you read any of the Death Vigil comics? I haven't. I will look these up, if uh, they're, they're like that. Thank you. What happened to No More Heroes 2? <clears throat> it's working on it. Sorry, it's soon. Roxy fan Fangirl19, what's your favourite show or movie? Uh, movie, for sure, uh, has to be... Oh, sorry, I'm going to yawn again. <sighs> I'm terribly sorry. That's so rude of me. I'm, I'm very sorry, Roxy Fangirl. Um, my favourite... Not that your question's boring me, it's just late. What is your favourite show or movie? Uh, the Thing. Uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, for sure. For movie. For favourite show... Mm, Star Trek. I really, really like Star Trek. I know it's a very geeky thing, but I I grew up with it. Very, very fond of it. Jill for Chris Redfield. Long-time fan. Oh, hi, thank you. Hello. What do you work as? PC technician. What's your favourite horror film? Um, the thing. Your favourite horror film protagonist? Um, yeah, we'll go, we'll, go for, we'll go for the entire crew of the thing, because they're all very, very fun. Uh, McCarthy, especially. Is it McCarthy? Or is it McCready? Sorry, McCready, I should say. <laughs> McCarthy. I was thinking of McCarthyism. Anyway. Um, have you had any weird experience from overactive imagination while in a creepy setting due to my horror games you play? No, sadly. And I work in a creepy place sometimes, and I don't even get that. Dull. Can we please get some more baking? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I-, I will try. Let's put it this way. If I get an inspiration to bake a cake or something, maybe. Yellow Yoshi 1. What's your favourite horror movie? I've already answered that, I'm afraid. A generic question, uh, Yellow Yoshi man. Um, other than that, uh, what's your favourite g- game genre after horror? RPGs. I, I'm a real soft spot for JRPGs. I really do like them. RPGs in general, but JRPGs particularly. Outraged. Will you ever make an instructional video of how to uninstall Silent Hill Homecoming? Did I not do that one? What, which one did I do? Surely I did have to sign... I, 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 must, I must have done Silent Hill Homecoming. If I'm not, I, I will do that by flicking the disc in a bin, maybe. Sir Havoc. Was Lady Kiko inspired by the American IRS? <laughs> no, just like... I was thinking like the Sheriff of Nottingham for some stupid reason at the time. I was like, ah, oh, let's talk about that. Uh, Vicious. Vicious, 2004? Any chance to be willing to give a good indie horror games again? Yes, if they're good. Uh, I got nothing against indie games. Uh, I just... I think they, as anything, need proper QA. <laughs> um, I will have a look. If, if there are good ones, I would like to do them, let's put it that way. Eugen RJ. Uh, a quick question regarding Bloodborne. I see people going Bloodborne in Castlevania, difficult in boss battles side, the fact you can have a whip and a cane and the castle cane hearse, it seems people regard Bloodborne as a 3D Castlevania. I wouldn't go that far, I would say Bloodborne is a 3D Metroidvania, which is slightly different. Uh, it's more more the terms of Super Metroid or Castlevania after Symphony of the Night. It's not a straight, straight Castlevania game like the old ones, but the progress side of it, perhaps. The atmosphere is very similar in a sense, I suppose, but... Uh, I'd say it has more in terms of Metroidvania than Castlevania, and while they are similar, not necessarily the same thing. Um, favorite band currently, Dropkick Murphys. I think that's what I've been chilling out to lately. That's from Pie Man. Uh, Stand to see you. Oh, before we continue, what are we looking at? One hour four. Okay. Stand to see you. Well, a game request would be like find Intelligent Cube. What? Would you make a single video of it? If you made a game, what would you make? I'd cover the game one. What do you mean with the first question? I don't... 
understand. Would you... Maybe rephrase the first part of that question, because I'm not quite sure what you mean. Um, send it to me on Twitter if you if uh, if you fancy, it, and I'll, I'll I'll try and answer you there. Uh, Glitz Caldo, Halloween. How often do you like to do let's plays with others? Very rarely. I find cart let's plays a bit annoying. Actually, they're faff to set up, and worse, it's you have to try uh, try and arrange the times with everybody. If everyone was still in like college and we had a piss ton of free time, then yeah, they would still be okay to do. But uh, otherwise, just simply clashing my own schedules, I don't like doing them. Um, you've you inspired me to make some main chance to be honest to work with you. Um, thank you, but again, just simply because they're so hard to keep going and stuff. I'm not a massive fan of them anyway. Truthfully told, I I like setting the own pace of the single stuff. Um, but best of luck to you with your channel. I really do mean that. I, you know, give it, give it a whirl. Um, Luna Vampire, I've been watching you for a long time, and you're no doubt my favorite LP. Well, thank you. No questions here. I just want to say I appreciate what you do. Well, thank you very much. Um, and don't feel, don't be sorry for not feeling you can donate. No, just, just watching is enough. Honestly, thank you very much. Good stuff. Um, River Birch, Halloween. Ever played more in Oblivion Scry? I played all three, and I like all three. Your favourite moment out of all of them, like, overall. The Dark Brotherhood questline from Oblivion, being the highlight, I feel, out of all three. Uh, Cloud Strife, my first question was, like, lagging. Uh, what's going on with No More Heroes? Sorry, again, working on it. Working on it. Uh, second question, what's your favourite kind of ice cream? Mint chocolate ice cream, for sure. I don't eat ice cream very much, though. I've got sensitive teeth, and it, like, it's like eating fire, but uh, if I do ever eat it, that is uh, that is nice stuff. All they're saying that uh, Ben and Jerry's like fudge brownie ice cream is pretty good. I have to be honest. I got some in my freezer right now that I occasionally snack into. Undead Eggmeister, here's my question. If you sorry, <sighs> sorry, sorry again. Not not bored your question. I promise. It's just late. Ah, uh, okay. Undead Eggmeister, here's my question. If you're a cookie, what kind of cookie would you be? A chocolate chip cookie. You know, relatively plain but tasty. Um, Blaga Brony, Blaga Ramoni. Um, you got the lizard avatar. No, sorry, sorry. After playing Bloodborne, what you tend to play? Like I said, Resident Evil. I think. Um, I think that's probably uh, going with that. Katie, uh, what's that? Katie Berenito, Berenato. Not sure how I pronounce it. Sorry, sorry, Katie. Regardless, hello. When's the next time or game you'll do a channel that makes big decisions? I rather enjoy the interactive nature of it. That's true. We haven't had anything like that for a while, have we? Hmm. Bloodborne might have actually been a good opportunity for that. But I kind of forsake it by just doing a uh, build myself. Um, I don't know, truth be told. I, I like to do them. I really do like the whole vote on what's going to happen stuff. I think it's good fun. Uh, maybe I will... Maybe I'll do one for what we LP next, perhaps. Um, if that counts. Otherwise, I, I would like to do another game where we get to choose what we do. That That is good fun. Uh, Dover Kitty, When you play games with yourself, do you ever find yourself talking aloud? Sometimes I talk aloud. I generally swear aloud quite a lot to myself. <laughs> That's the main thing. I try not to swear too much in the LPs. I'm I'm a, I'm a bit of a pirate, uh, like filthy sailor, uh, IRL, which uh, doesn't help things. Truthfully, uh, uh, let's see. Yellow Yoshi extra collection. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Any possibly some Metroid action? Again, I wouldn't mind doing Metroid Prime. Truthfully, so maybe, maybe. Uh, Bane Biscuits. Have you ever thought about doing a Let's Play with the viewers on stream? I do occasionally stream. Um, I try and post when I'm doing it, so keep an eye out if that uh, takes your fancy, sir. Nice Dracula avatar, by the way. Mr. Random Game Fan, do you have or have you had any pets? I have uh, many pets previously in the past. I used to have hamsters a lot, uh, which I answered previously, honestly. Um, I miss them a lot, actually. I miss having pets. Where I live now, I can't have any, which is sad. <laughs> Oh no. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, although I do feel the next pet I wouldn't mind having is a tarantula. I'd like to try that out. Though they're not very interactive, they are kind of cool to look at. So maybe that'd be the next one. Nice, a nice Chilean rose tarantula or something. Um, Alexandra Welchin, Welkin, Welchin. Sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce her. Uh, will you play Daylight? Eh. Nah, I, I didn't like the look at Daylight when it came out. And Bioshock, please. Ooh, there's a, a, a couple of questions about Bioshock. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Most bangable entity in the original mythos. Uh, I don't know, it's all terrifying. I'm not, I'm not sure terrifying and, like, lovemaking tend to go well together, you know? Just for chilly equipment reasons. Uh, Jane M Productions. Who do you main in Smash? 
Uh, when I do play Smash, I play Zero Suit Samus. Uh, or, uh, who was I also playing? I used to play Wolf in Brawl, but he's gone now, which is sad. He was good fun. Depending on which Smash, uh, Zero Suit, or Wolf, I guess. Oh, God, I'm feeling... <sighs> Sorry, non-stop yawning over here. I have to try, and, try not to. Oh, dear. Again, I can't stop the recording to yawn. It's terrible, isn't it? Apologies. Gabriella Smith, who's your favourite protagonist of all the, all the games you've ever played? Uh, I like the make your own protagonist of the Vampire the Masquerade games. I think she was fun, like Femidek. She was a good laugh. Uh, took no shit and blew people up. Um, that was a bit of a projection kind of protagonist. In terms of actually story-based protagonist, Isaac was good up until 3 where he turned into a bit of a whiny bitch, which is a bit sad. Um, though, uh, Jack from Call of Cthulhu was quite fun. Uh, the going insane thing was a big laugh as well. Uh, likewise, what's your favourite antagonist? Uh, the myth, all the mythos creatures from Call of Cthulhu always make good antagonists. Like I said earlier, they, you know, mysterious creatures make good antagonists, I think. Qu- two questions from Cho- Chapetto 85 Have you ever heard of Win- Winter Zan- Xan Gaming? She's from the UK. She likes horror games and she's gorgeous. I, I have not, I'm afraid. I don't follow pretty much any LPs or anything. So, tru- uh, truthfully... So, no, I don't know who she is. And are you going to play Outlast? Again, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Leo Messi, does your right nut hang higher than your left? I haven't checked, truthfully. Sorry, Leo. Uh, Heartman, what kind of work do you in the hospital? Already answered that, so hopefully that covered it. Um, LP Sones, why are the doors locked? That is always a good question. Doors have to be locked in mysterious places. It's just the rules, I think. Jones, Jones Mark UK... I too, I think it is. I really, really want to know about the spider story. Yeah, well, if we find a loading screen long enough. Curious love? What's the weirdest thing you've ever been asked? Half of the questions in here, honestly. Maybe the one about my balls. That was pretty weird. Tony Burrito. Hi, Ween. Many of the games you play, horror adventure. Uh, I played before, so we have good ta- We have very similar tastes. Uh, besides a few exceptions, uh, do you agree with me that the last five years of games have been losing quality, game- uh, gameplay-wise? That could be the reason. Uh, I don't know. Um... Honestly, we've had some really good years and some really good games. Um, you're right, there are some sessions of Bloodborne, and Alien, but we've had, like, the Dark Souls. We've had all the Nintendo games. You know, you, you got all the Tales games. I think there's a lot of good games coming out. I think it's very easy to look back in nostalgia at a load of, like, the gaming prime years, like, of the Super Nintendo stuff and see, like, constant good stuff. But, honestly, even growing up, there was tons of trash coming out. <sighs> Difficult. I think there's less less games overall coming out because they're more expensive to make therefore it might look like it I don't know I'm definitely not a fan of the whole tutorialising and making things easier crap it's just annoying like push A to jump always being on the button prompts The Witcher 3 even does it I know you can turn it off it's just stupid like why do I need to remember what A does after 10 hours in the game for god's sake I know what it does I've been playing the game for 10 hours why would you need to prompt me Stormwolf more questions do you have a favourite abridged anime series? Dragon Ball Z abridged is hilarious, though Hellsinger abridged is also very, very good. Is there a comment you've even read from one of your videos that you like to remember fondly even to this day? No, mm, particular comments. Uh, no, not really. Comments are a difficult one. I, there's certainly collections of comments and people just... I like it when people, like, are amused enough that they quote something. That always that always sticks to my head. Just, like... It usually means I've done a good job of, like, saying something silly that people have quoted it and gone, lol, lol, or I laughed, or I laughed off my chair, or something, you know. I, I always enjoy seeing those. Um, one, two, three, Epic Fail Master. What is your favourite Stalker game? The first, followed by the third. Clear Sky was a mess. Uh, first, just generally because the atmosphere was really good. Judas Iscariot, man. You're doing well for your age. Do you have autism? Not as far as I'm aware. No. Strange question, but I don't think so. Um, V3 Vertigo 222, I think it is. Mind telling us how long your hair is now? It's really long, but it needs a cut. Uh, it's down most of my back now. It's 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 getting too long. It's getting all scraggly on the ends. Need to visit the barbers and get a good like, good like five inches off it, honestly. Um, what's your favorite Let's Play on the channel? And your favorite game outside the channel? That one I've already answered. Favorite game on the channel? I like Dragon Guard. I like Nier. I like Amnesia. Ugh, difficult. I like too many. Sorry, I'm flaking out on that question. I like too many of them. Lots of good games I've done. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce your name. W Q K K K four three two one. I know this question's been asked. If you consider streaming on Twitch more often, I'd like to, but time. It's just getting the time, isn't it? That's the problem. Uh, I don't. I don't necessarily have the time to do it. So, I'd like to, but hey. Boat Sniper. Have you seen? 
R W B Y? I haven't no. Very not. Uh, Luigi, uh, Luigi, eight eight nine five. How many goats have you sacrificed to elder gods today? At least five a day. And who does the art for the videos or pictures? I mean, they're amazingly good. What do you mean, like the random things I find on the internet? I don't know. I just grab them off Google or like V or something. E J Close Closey. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your uh, your uh, name there. Apologies. You have the lovely red hair though. Um, I have so many questions. What draws you to horror as a genre? Ooh. The mysteriousness of it, I suppose. The always the questions always being asked. The the protagonist not knowing going on and like the especially the sanity ones. Like people losing their mind. Very very appealing. Have you ever tried to create a work of horror through writing art? No, I'm I'm cre too cretinous for that. Sadly, um, as much as I'd like to. Have you purchased a rolling pin yet? <laughs> I haven't. Sadly, I haven't actually seen one. Well, I need to go into a supermarket, like a big big supermarket, and buy one before I do my next cooking video. Um, Lugie again. Uh, just to be cheeky, and ask another question. Do you play Mech War Online? I played it for a bit. It was okay. Um, wasn't a massive fan, but honestly. Mr. Han, uh, what are your thoughts on the Witch series? Love it. I'm playing the third installment right now. Uh, Andrew Spector, Borton, will you be playing Dying Light? Nah. Honestly, no. Probably not. Um, Unconsidered One. What YouTube did you watch? Like I said earlier, not really many. Occasionally Kiko. What's your favourite nostalgic childhood thing? I love the movements, man. The movements got it always gets me like nostalgic. Um, the cartoon one. Um, are you one following news and critiques of the game industry? Yes, I do. I follow the game industry quite closely. I, I enjoy the ups and downs and drama and nonsense. The geezer boy, will you ever play Grimrock Two? I'll probably play it, but not LP it. Definitely, I'll definitely give it a look. Rock and Hellfire. What's your favourite cheese? Red Leicester. Red Leicester's good cheese. Sorry, give me a sec. Ooh. Ugh. And is it possible... <clears throat> My voice is on go. I <laughs> did this for so long. Mm. Uh, and is it possible if you do an LP of Resi 4 or another Resident Evil game? I'll be doing a Resident Evil game next, but not 4. Mitch. Mr. Ween, tell me. Bloodborne or Dark Souls? Uh, both equally. Too early to tell which one I prefer. Um, Bloodborne is very, very, very good, though. One of my favourite games. Full stop. So, Bloodborne's definitely up there high. Two... Uh, cool, cool to Bean Boy. Besides your friends, what is your favorite YouTube channel? Uh, well, in terms of non-LP stuff, again, because my lack of watching it, I like Cinema Sins. Like, I like kicking back and watching that. That's good fun. Uh, Genjo San, what's your favorite RPG ne uh, game? Tales, the Tales of series, any of them, honestly. Excuse <sighs> me. <sighs> SG Cam PP, favorite cake, chocolate cake. I know it's plain and boring, but. Mm, chocolate cake, nice. Chocolate fudge cake, correction. Even better. Uh, Lamba. Lambda? That's the Greek symbol, isn't it? I'm not sure if I'm ever pronounced that right. Uh, anyway, uh, which place would you rather live in? Swindon or Yarnum? Wow, <laughs> tough call. Um, considering Swindon doesn't go through purges, I'm guessing Swindon might be the same for bear, truthfully. <laughs> Lord British. Uh, have you ever played Nosferatu, Wrath of Malachi? I haven't. Is it good? Mm, I might have to have a look at that. Maybe as an LP. Uh, LZO, when you're playing games in your own time, after so long spent as Let's Play, do you still find yourself voicing your thoughts? Again, less so, but I swear a lot. I do kind of mutter to myself, because I'm strange. Amazing Red, worst game you've ever LP'd? <sighs> Gotta be cry fear, man. That, that thing was a, was a bit of a turn. No, actually, I keep forgetting Red Lake was pretty appalling as well. I didn't know if that counts, though. Uh, worst games you haven't Let's Play? Okay, yeah, okay. Worst game you've LP'd? Cry fear. Worst game I haven't LP'd? Red Lake. God damn, that was not even a game. It just wasn't working. Skinner McLean, here's a conversation piece to start. I've been watching you since the Amnesia LP, which was my first actual LP ever, and I was wondering, where do you see this channel going? What is this channel for you? Channel going, honestly, the same place it's always going. Just more, more, more LPs, more d different games, uh, and the occasional th like opinion piece or thoughts on stuff. That's where I like to keep the channel, honestly. What is this channel for you? I suppose it's an output for my thoughts, uh, a place of venting, uh, and just generally a place to just have fun and communicate with fans who seem to like watching my videos. Um, that's what the channel is for me. But mainly it's a hobby, and it's a very, very fun, enjoyable hobby that I really enjoy. Uh, I said enjoy two times in the same sentence. That's terrible. My English teacher would have slapped me for that. You have a regular job, so clearly this isn't your main income source and primary focus like it is with other YouTubers, uh, like Markiplier, any of the normal boots, hidden block crew. I don't know. Who put more polish onto their videos? <laughs> I'll try not to take too much offence to that, but I, I do understand what you mean. Um, 
Wow, this is a long, long comment, isn't it? Uh, let me try to skim through this so I can answer this a bit better rather than read it all out. Uh, you release content essentially as it is, aside from basic sound to make sure that levels are correct. And I, and I like that, but it's also that's a good candidate for why your view count is so low. Uh, this is not intended to mean as an insult, but while other channels have popped up and grown incredibly fast, this channel has felt it has stayed the same. I'm wondering if it will change. Um, basically, uh, it will be staying the same in that sense, because I don't have the time to add the additional polish to the videos. I don't have the time to do crazy special effects. or uh, A lot of those channels, you're also missing a fact, is that they, they uh, do what's called networking, where they will join up with crews one of the bigger people who then share the subscribers with them and they'll share it with someone else and blah 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 blah. That's not true of all of them of course but that's generally how you also gain subscribers in huge amounts of time. And yes you're quite right if I perhaps put more you know sort of effort perhaps for lack of a better word into my the way my editing works and I think I might uh, gain more subscribers but honestly I I don't really mind you know. Um, I'm happy staying as is. I I ha- I barely have enough time to run the channel as is, I suppose. So, if if it required more basic editing than it does now, I probably couldn't do any videos at all. And that would probably leave the channel closed. Truthfully, the full time work takes a lot out of you, and the, and running a channel is quite hard work as well. It's it's a difficult one. Uh, I see where you're coming from. I don't worry. I'm not taking it offence at all, and I appreciate the candidness. But uh, uh, again, I suppose long story short, if I I I would probably like to do more editing and more cleaning up of the videos but I couldn't I don't have the time and if if even what I'm doing took more time I'd probably have to stop which is uh, so there you go uh, Ravage uh, I know you just like the game you can do more DLC but uh, I have so many requests I, might, I think I feel like I might be obliged to do it and a more respectable note for the question do you do uh, you doing LP for The Last of Us or Wolfenstein no or neither but they're both very good games um, have you ever played Dead Space 3 I actually LP'd it so there you go Dark Spirit Yubi. How does one deal with non Euclidean stairs? Badly, apparently. <laughs> they keep moving. Uh, Valder's Raptor. I'm not sure if I've seen any of the other Q&As. So, what got you into doing LPs? I asked this at the very beginning, so I hope that uh, I hope that covered it for you, sir. Also, why do you tend to do specific ones like the horror genre? Just got a rut, I suppose. I, I ended up doing one horror game and I was like, you should do more horror games. And I was like, okay, do the next horror game. You should do more horror games. And then it's all kind of stuck after that. Uh, Almighty Norper, do you have any hobbies besides gaming? Again, I covered that a little bit earlier. Your thoughts on the bidding of Nevermind the Buzzcocks? I've never seen it. I've never seen a single single part of that show, which is weird. So, no thoughts, honestly. A modern Faustus? So, besides the not so evil within, what has been the most aggravating game you played? Cry of Fear. Seriously, bad game design 101, right there. Have you ever considered doing a hold carb LP or someone? <laughs> Rufa, I think, took so great offence to that. Um, and I have done quite a few. Me and Clyker did some. Me and Rufa finished Swindon. Other than, you know. So, uh, there's that. Uh, that's from Zaya Dark, did I say? Uh, Iowari. So, Halloween. What's the mo- what is that obscure LP you promised is coming? Oh, obscure, the school one. Yeah, I should get around to that at some point. I don't know, it's on the back burner, because it wasn't one of my main choices, I suppose. But maybe one day. Um, we'll see. The Solitary Kaze? Kaze? Uh, probably the most stereotypical question ever, but what got you into LPing? Do you have any advice for new LPers? I'll skip the first bit because I've already covered that earlier, so I hope that covered that. Uh, as for advice for new LP to get noticed, oh, man, I have no advice anymore. That's the problem. I, I, my channel grew up in a time where you could get picked out by your content and like people like finding your videos just by putting it in. Now, unless you're networking, you're doing like loads of crazy face cam stuff. I feel it's going to be a nightmare to get into it. I don't know what to suggest to you. The only thing would suggest you make good content, people will show up. At least that's how it used to work. So presumably, you know, if you keep it up, keep it good, keep it interesting, people will turn up. Uh, no pressure, but today is actually my birthday. Well, this is probably a few days too late then, but happy birthday for then. So uh, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I hope that gave you a reasonable answer as well. I'm sorry it's so flaky, but that that really is I feel how how it's going right now. Black Joker 29 Do you have any plans on doing any LPs that are part of a series? For example, Fatal Frame. Mm, I don't like doing loads in a series, honestly. I feel it gets a bit samey. I uh, made the mistake a couple of times. I might, I'm trying to avoid that now. Um, Skulklo. Are you looking forward to Soma? Eh, again, I asked that earlier. Maybe, kind of. Eh. Huxleby. Uh, 
Will you ever be doing the FMV games? That's just Phantasmagoria. No. <laughs> they're all really bad. They're funny to watch if you've got someone who knows what they're doing, but... Eesh. Captain Farrell. Favourite Lovecraft story. Again, hopefully I covered that. I hope that was alright. That was the colour from Outer Space. Went into a bit more detail earlier. Gadget Pony Gal. Favourite game shotgun. The fear one. Uh, less important, but favourite non-shotgun video game weapon. The Multicultural Skeleton Launcher Maker thingy was fun. From fear. Favourite character, both player made and pre established. Well, Lady Kiko's, all of them have always been great. Um, the pre established one, again, something I covered earlier, probably Jack, he was a good laugh. Favourite horror game trope. Ooh. Goodies in the toilet, because I got that one onto the t- channel. That totally counts, right? That's my favourite horror game trope. Least favourite horror game the joke. Jump scares. Scare chords. Definitely. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to leave a couple of those. Move on. Um. Ryan Crono, would you ever consider doing more things with your US fans? Or US fans? Is it US fans? I stream LOL and play on the EU server. Oh, the problem is, like, if I play stuff on US server, I get huge lag. That's that's my main the main problem. So playing anything online makes it difficult. If I can if I can wrangle something, then maybe. I I I'd like to, let's put that. I would like to, Ryan Crono, so. Ollie Dag doesn't get any questions answered because he's a scrub. Um Akami, yeah. Uh, when are you going to continue Berserk? Soon, I hope. I'm having a real, real trouble recording it. It's being a bastard. Um, to the point where I'm thinking about binning it, unfortunately. We will see. But it's not recording very well currently. Uh, Cocculus. I have a question. Squid butt, yes or no? I, I don't know enough about squid butt. I feel I should t- remain indifferent until then. Um, Devoidless. Uh, Who would win a fight? Strelok or Archim? T- the Strelok. The Strelok can carry like a, an entire car's worth in his rucksack. <laughs> He's pretty burly. How much insight do I have? I say I'm sitting around 30 insight. I've seen some shit, but I, I, I feel I'm not in complete danger of dying. Sorry, I'm going to have to move on a little bit, because otherwise I'm not even going to have time to actually compress this. Um, What is your job at the hospital? I've... Uh, you work in the, you work in the labs, do you? Oh, that's cool. Like blood labs, presumably. Um, I work in um, IT myself, so... Um, that's from Wonder Milder. The Hazed One. What shampoo does Mr. Ween use? Uh, just cheap, bog standard shampoo I get at the supermarket because I'm poor. Uh, so yeah, just like a quid shampoo that smells like strawberries. Mm, smells nice. Um, J-Star. Uh, Halloween, which of the games you've played, which ones do you think is the best? Uh, whatever, or LP. Uh, both I've already answered, I hope. I hope those was satisfying answers for you earlier. Rising Shadow. Are you still doing No Way Heroes 2? I am. I promise. I am. On the on the on the way, Apex Pesto Pest Pest, sorry Apex something. Favorite horror game and favorite horror game story. Favorite horror game story. Honestly, Bloodborne probably. It's it's subtle but it's there and it has a really good thing going to it. And I might do another video on it at the end, sort of talking about the story. So I hope that that that's good. Also, favorite horror game, uh, Dark Corners of the Earth probably. Content. Yay. Killer Xy, would you allow me to add spider f- sound effects to your Let's Play the Adventure Goldhawk? Uh, you've been a hobby sound designer. Uh, I'll send you the whole... Huh. Interesting. You should probably send me um, an email. Uh, Mess me on Twitter. We'll, we'll have a word about that. Um, the White Goblin. I'm not sure if you mentioned uh, The Void and the Pathologic. The Void is weird but not particularly scary, honestly. Um, pathologic. Again, I'll look into... Mr. Bloodmon, I got two questions. That's fine. You shoot. Since you reference it quite a bit of fan of Metal Gear, are you looking forward to Metal Gear Solid 5? I'm not, actually. I don't know. It just doesn't look like Metal Gear to me, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe it'll end up being better. I like Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. And 3. Although I really enjoyed them all. Whether this new one's going to be any good, I don't know. I'll wait for the people to play it first. What are your thoughts on Konami firing Kojima? Weird. We need to find out what really happened there before. It's just strange. Catnip. Would you ever be interested in a co-op stream with HG Tenchi? And yes, I asked him. He said he'd love to do it. Um, it depends on what it would be. I mean, uh, he's a great bloke, actually. Yeah, so it'd be fun to do. It just depends on the game. If you find something fun, sure. Why not? Um, Wolf Song Heathen. Have you ever played a tabletop? I played Call of Cthulhu with the lads uh, over Skype. That's pretty much it. Uh, have you ever played Rifts? No. What horror game would you suggest on just getting into the genre? Hmm. Start with Call of Cthulhu Dark Waters of the Earth, uh, simply because it's a well-built game, for the most part, if you don't mind the odd bug, and it's 
a nice toe dipping into uh, Lovecraft mythos as well. Uh, so you get like a double whammy. Uh, HK Trident. Have you ever heard of an indie game called Spooky's House of Jump Scares? No, no, I haven't. Would you? Uh, I'll look. I'll Google it. I'll see what it looks like. Pumbledore. All grown up now, Hells. Well, getting there. Though I wouldn't say it's sad you don't do celebration videos anymore. You and the others have a good little community built between you lot. Referring to your own work with Kiko Clark and the like. It's always been a delight to be a part of it ever since first stumbling across some pla- plague videos. Um, well, thank you very much for uh, chilling out. Ooh. And hang on, so that's a question. Would you be interested in reference to saying. Uh, what? Uh, what are your general thoughts on your very first videos dating right back to the days of Call of Cthulhu, Penumbra, and Alice? Um. Oh, that needs a longer, longer answer, honestly. Uh, messy. Badly recorded. But good commentary. Is my main thoughts. But that needs a bit more to it, I think. Raids of the Curse. What bands have you seen live? Oh, fucking. Absolutely tons. Um, most recently, Megadeth, Meatloaf, funnily enough, uh, Wasp, Iron Maiden, uh, Real Big Fish, name a few. KTTC, question, can I have your babies? Um, I don't have any babies to have, unless this is like a sex thing. I don't know. Mm, might be dangerous though. It might be some sort of Lovecraftian danger babies in there. It might not be safe. Um, Lizardo da Vinci, um, Nice hair, by the way, Katie, though. I appreciate the red. It's always, always good. Um, Lizardo da Vinci, are you ever going to put up a Goldhawk video with Kikong in timely fashion? We were literally talking about this the other day. Um, no. <laughs> we're really bad at keeping that. Again, the same reason, the same problems arise is we got to spend enough time to do it. It takes a long time to record them, a long time to edit them, a long time to get it all scanned in, so... Um, I'm going to try soon. Very soon. So, I can't do it this weekend. We did ask the weekend after next, so we'll have to see. What do you think the film Interstellar? Dull. Boring, boring, boring. Uh, very visually striking. A stupid, stupid plot, though. Raziel. No, more Bloodborne. I'm very sorry. The question is, is everything alright? Yes, actually. Thank you. Everything is alright. Shanavale. Are you going to finish No More to Heroes 2? Yes, I am. Don't worry. Have you considered doing any of the Fatal Frame games? Considered, but not doing yet. I'm trying to avoid the sequel thing for a while. Nightmare. Uh, okay, Halloween, just I have one more question. What you do with the Evil Within DLC? No, I'm not. No. Kisselina. Kisselina? Uh, Halloween, please play Vivisector or Clive Barker's Jericho. Jericho's weird. It's a very strange game. It's not like even a terrible game, it's just a very strange one. So, I don't know, maybe. Mm. Dalnut, why are you so awesome? Um, a loaded question there, Dalnut. I feel, I feel like I should answer and be like, I am. Mm. But, uh, I don't know. I uh, Thank you for saying that, though. Um... Meshalande? Meshalande? Uh, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. You've got a uh, Alice screaming in there. That's good. You can't think of any questions. Oh, that's alright. Oh, you do have something. Okay. Would you and Kika do anything together? Well, we're doing Gold- Goldhawk still. So that, that's still the plan. <clears throat> Sorry, voice going. That's still the plan. So, uh, hopefully. Stay tuned. Will we ever see your face? And do you like chocolate? Uh, yes, it's on my Twitter, actually. And yes, I love chocolate. <laughs> uh, that's from th- 31 Anno. Closely distant. Hi, Hell. If you weren't working with what you're working today, what other thing would you be working with? Uh, I loved history. I'd like to have one day have been a historian, maybe. Um, that was one of my plans growing up. So maybe that. Uh, Monster Boy. I've always been curious. On the scale of the courage of Cowardly Dog to, to Metropolis, where did your town rate in the middle of nowhere? It's a city in the middle of nowhere, so it's not courage, but... Uh, oh, I'm trying to think of a good example. That's the problem. It's... It's a city in the middle of the countryside, which is in the middle of nowhere, so... I don't know, what's, how does that rate? On the fucking scale? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Jordan. God damn, I hate Twitter and I hate Google+, Plus. I adore you so much I'm willing to give my credentials to the Google ones. So I appreciate that, thank you. Why do you only play spooky games? Uh, again, I got kind of roped into it and it kind of stuck after all, I suppose. I've watched you ever since Murak and McGee's Alice LP, and that's ever stuck with me. You've never made a unique... That made you unique among LPs and your continual refusal to sell out. You've never asked for likes, subscribe, comments, except for feedback where warranted. With difficult LPs, <laughs> promotions, or fuck all like that. I'm interested in your, your personal attitude to selling out is. And who your favourite LPs is. Ugh, selling out, that's an interesting one. It all depends on what you mean by selling out, I suppose. If in that in that context, I think it's quite tacky. Nothing worse than someone going, Can you please like, subscribe, and comment on my videos? And then just, you know, just. Ugh, no, I don't like it. As for the rest of it, honestly, again, a good question needs a deeper answer, truthfully. Um, 
it needs it needs a longer longer thing. Generally speaking, though, I think people make it about themselves more than the games, and I, that I don't appreciate as much. <laughs> he says, answering a Q&A about himself. Her. But you get the idea. How spooky is my hospital? Extremely. Very, very spooky. It has some, like, completely dead areas. Send nudes. Oh, oh, what? You'll send you a picture of my ass. That'd be weird. Uh, Reaper. Hey, hell, we're following antics since fear extraction point. We're loving all the content. Well, thank you. Wife says she loves it too. Well, thank you to your wife as well. Question about League. Who's your favourite champion? Your favourite skill? Your favourite skin? Uh, I like Caitlyn. Uh, my favourite skin... Ooh, difficult. I like Teacher Fiora with the, with the ruler. <laughs> That's quite good. Um, and your favourite skill, passive. Fiora's ult is one of my favourites because you can build it in such a way it just bumps people. Just good laugh. Your favourite Claymore character. Can I be boring and say Claire? <laughs> like, I really liked Claire. She was good fun. Though, um... Though I really did like... Uh... Oh, who was her name? Oh, damn, it's completely escaped me. She turns into, like, a giant snake woman uh, who hunts down Claire. Claire gets, like, a can cut off and then does the quick sword against her. Ophelia! There we go. Ophelia was a good fun character as well for ages. I really liked the way she was handled. Um, yes. Anyway. Um, thank you for that, Zinni. Uh, Lel Doran. What do you do at the hospital? Which I've already answered that. I hope that was good enough. Uh, Jonathan Woodridge. I heard this isn't your main income and YouTube is a thing on the side, a hobby. But what do you do for income? Well, I work. I work at the hospital for uh, full time for a living. And what we do is next plex play. I, again, I hope I've covered that already for you, sir. Uh, all out trick. Will you record more videos of audio stuff? Oh man, Jesus. Um, I like to do it, but these days with the way the copyright thing going, and machine might scowl at me if I start doing that. But uh, maybe well, I'll certainly consider it. Is Swindon really as bad as everyone says it is? It's radiant. Um, g Google image search it. That's all I'll say. Uh, Vorisis? Why a Splatoon drawing? Please say you're not playing it. Yep, I'm playing Splatoon. It's very fun. Where has Skeletor gone? I'm a little concerned here, says Lucy. Uh, Skeletor's here, but he's, he's sort of a busy man. You know, he's got, got to, you know, run around the countryside and do stuff and conquer, you know. He's taking twerking lessons. Yeah, Rufus, right. John Broman. I do know this has asked... <clears throat> sorry. I do know this has been asked before, but I'm wondering if you change your mind on it. Any plans on going back and redoing some of your older stuff in higher quality? Something I covered again earlier, I wouldn't mind. It, But I don't feel the commentary would be as good. That's the problem. Neo Zamateur. So, seen your anime figurines, I have to know what are your top three favourite animes. Black Lagoon, Full Metal Alchemist. Does Dragon Ball count? I don't know. I've got lots of favourites, but Black Lagoon for certain. Bakano is really, really good. Uh, I re and Redline, the movie Redline, is an anime movie, which is really good. And difficult. I like so many. Also, Ergo Proxy. Ugh, sorry, we could have a discussion about this for a long time. Uh, I, there's quite a few I like, though. The Electro Dolly. Would you ever do a contest or hold a Skype chat with your fans? I do, actually. Um, I've got a... we got a contest in the works for sec the Secret World that we're trying to do. And Skype chats... Um, I do I do stuff on live streams when we do streaming, so... Um, if you want to come along to the streams, like, we can have a chat. Uh, Mr. or Mrs. Electro Dolly there. Um, so, but either way, thank you for being... Wow, 09 as well. You, thank you for being such a long-time fan as well. Always nice. Oh, uh, but yeah, come along to the streams when we do them. You, you know, come chat with us. We do live chats there as well, so. Uh, Simcoe Devotional. Hey, Hells, wondering what you think the coolest bosses ever are. Ooh, cool bosses in games. Wow. Uh, the Metroid games always have fucking kick-ass bosses. Uh, Metroid Prime especially. Oh, God, I'm getting old again. Ooh. Uh, sorry. Oh, it is like 12-something at this point. Dead. Ugh, sorry, I'm trying to uh, not yawn. It is incredibly rude. It's not your questions, I promise. It is just sheer lateness. Um, the Metroid games, I think, just... I need... Conceptually, is a difficult one. Again, it deserves a much longer answer than you'll get here. But generally, things that you have to hit weak points on are always a fan favourite of mine, just because they're so classic. Just hit the thing in the weak point where it glows. It's like, I just love it. Good fun. Kel Machine. What's your favourite type of cheese? Oh, Le Red Leicester. How do you like your eggs cooked? Uh, poached eggs are pretty legit, honestly. Though, I am partial to all types. But poached is nice. Pizza toppings got just margarita. I used to like pepperoni pizza, but I think it doesn't think it agrees with me anymore. Um, would you rather be able to walk through walls or have x-ray vision? X-ray vision's kind of cool. Like, you could do some cool stuff with x-ray vision, I think. 
What is your current computer wallpaper background? Uh, uh, it is the bloodstained Kickstarter uh, background. How does the word lagoon make you feel on the inside? Sounds kind of gooey. Or Peter Pan. Maybe like a gooey Peter Pan. I don't know. Are you wearing socks right now? No, I got bare feet. I came out of the shower before I did this, so just bare feet. Do I have any unusual talents? Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know, I held my school's long jump record for a really long time. I guess I was kind of gangly. Um, dogs or cats? Oh, difficult. I like both equally, but cats may be slightly edged, though dogs are fun too. Oh, I really like both. What did you want to be when I was little? <laughs> a taxi driver, according to my mother. Um, Micro Scozo, would you let someone eat you if you were a trout and they were starving? No, I'd fight. I'd have to fight. Core Hat. Is hospital tech work doing different to normal tech work? Does it involve more body fluids? No, it's PC, it's just PC stuff. It's just in like clean environments, depending, depending on where you're going. And I can't really tell you what some of the weirdest stuff I've seen, I'm afraid. I'm not allowed. Darker. Have you ever thought about reading or explaining creepy mo- mystery stories to us? <laughs> you mean like... Like, uh... What was that game... Sh- what was that TV show where the guy sat in the thing and read a book? You seem really knowledgeable about a great deal of things, so I'd be interested to hear about paranormal things outside of games that interest you. Maybe, like, a story... A proper story time with Halloween. Who knows? Uh, Zinich? Zinich? Uh, why do you avoid Outlast? Uh, eh, I don't know. It's all the jump scares, isn't it? It's just I'm not too keen on that kind of thing. But, uh... I don't know. Gear of Darkness... Would you like to have a Mr. Pup- a Satan puppy to keep you company while playing, or a pet's not allowed? I'm not allowed, sadly, so out of the question. Thex Brinova, here's a few questions for you. Have you ever considered trying your hand at making horror games or computer games? Uh, something I answered previously, I hope that was okay answered there. Uh, will you be doing more games in the Fatal Frame series in the future? Possibly, but probably not anytime soon. Have you ever visited Singapore? Um, or any other South Eastern Asian countries? No, I haven't. I would like to. I would like to have a look. Um, I'd like to get loads of places, honestly. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to visit uh, places like that. Suppose the food is amazing. <laughs> a bit of a foodie. Hmm. Uh, do you have you played RoboCraft? No. Reminds me of RoboCod though, which was a game I grew up with. Hmm. Focus for gunfire. This is probably dumb, but why do the impish-looking characters like the one in the video come from? Oh, it's Splatoon. It's uh, uh, a Wii U game. I see you post similar ones on your Twitter. Yeah, I got loads of pictures all over the internet, basically. I just post, so it's mainly just stuff I grab from, like, various forums and whatnot. Pengi. Hello, hello. I just wanted to say that you haven't become a fan since your beginning of your videos. has got me through school. Oh, well, thank you for watching for so long. Here's your question. Are you a cook baker as a hobby? What is your forte? Uh, I'm not. No, I'm terrible at it, but I do like to... I do like to cook something interesting every so often. A question. Damn, it's been ages since the last one. Was there any moment in your LPing career that made you want to quit LPing? Uh, sometimes the way I look at some of the rather entitled LPs out there does make me want to just throw in the towel and say you guys are assholes I've had enough I don't follow LPs but I see a lot of drama and a lot of stupid shit especially with adverts and money what a sad sad excuse that it's become but that's another that's another thing for another day there were some questions on my Twitter that typically got absolutely squashed I have no idea where they've gone, which was a really bad idea, because I said to people, let's do this on Twitter, and I'll answer some questions as well, but I can't find them anymore, because TweetDeck is rubbish. Uh, so, sorry about that, I probably missed a couple of questions. Uh, which is really annoying. Uh-uh. Sorry, okay. There were some on my Twitter that I completely missed. Um, if you message them to me on Twitter, I'll answer them to you privately again, uh, but so it won't be in this video. Okay, that was an hour and 43, and my voice is going to die now, and I need to go to bed. So, (laughs) I hope you've enjoyed the q and I'm sorry it was so long. Uh, There was a lot of questions, but I think I got everybody's there. Apologies if I missed you, or mispronounced your name, or didn't answer your question properly. Um, Sorry, it's one of those when you're trying to skim through everything. Either way, um, thank you very much for asking your questions. Thank you all for watching, and you know, all for your... uh, uh, sticking sticking with it. It's really, really nice to have you all around and have you all watching and commenting and stuff. Thank you, guys. And uh, see you all again soon, I hope.